Disclaimer, this video, like all videos featured on this channel, is definitely intended for mature audiences. This video is likely to contain profane language, content is inappropriate for minors. Video is not for kids. Welcome to the Dr. Green Dumb Show. Not an And it is the Dr. Green Thumb Show live on Twitch, Discord, www.bereal.tv, and um, I may have said that wrong, but <laughs> <laughs> www.bereal.tv. I said it right. And right here on YouTube, what's up? I'm Dr. Green Thumb. Hello. To my right, the legendary hitman Julio G in the building. Always got a nice rolled up something, something ready to go today. Let's go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We also got the legendary Psycho Leezy. Salute, salute everybody on the check. Word up. Mm -hmm. It's March. It's March. It's March. You know what that means. We're marching? All right. It's, it's, the weather's getting, you know, it's getting better. It's better. All right, cool. <laughs> uh, the Treehouse crew in the house. Bolton Blombo, Bra Bra, and the Dominator. I'm doing good, B, but it looks like Julio is having a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I, w I was going to wear my red today, but... I must have been know. running a little late. DJ Quick was here earlier. He would appreciate it. Oh, man. I should have worn my red. I'll, br I'll bring it next week for you, man. That's why Blom Bro, Bro is getting buck right now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'll flame Before out next week, It's bro. a flame out, man. Yeah, I'll flame it out next week. <laughs> we got DJ C Minus joining us today. What up, everyone? Happy Tuesday. Yes. And our special guest, Karen Bryant in the hey. building. Give it up. How's it going? Good to see you guys. Thank you for the invitation. I'm I'm legit thrilled to see you, Be Real. You know that. It's been years. It's been a long time. Yes. We go way back to the days of, you know, when she was at MTV. Um, and we were getting run on MTV. Back yeah. Then. Uh, you know, and uh we've been friends since since yep. that time. And it was cool to see you transition out of the MTV thing and go into covering MMA. Yeah, well, it, you know, and it wasn't, um, it, I went to boxing. You went to boxing. Yeah, so that right. was the thing. So after doing um, like a bunch of entertainment stuff, uh, I've always been a sports fan and I grew up watching boxing and stuff with my dad and everything. So it wasn't, it, it sounded kind of random at first, but and then it really wasn't, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, so I worked for Showtime Boxing for three and a half years. That's right. And uh, we started to, they started to do some MMA and I got into it from there. Um, and the rest, you know, is history. So it's that was quite some time ago. Yeah. Uh, so I've actually lived in like the combat sports world now since about 2005, 2006, and it's pretty cool. What a big difference that <laughs> is, right? MTV to them. Yeah, <laughs> I know it is. It is and it isn't though, right? Like if you can talk to people, you can talk to people, yeah, right? And, yeah, and absolutely. I, I will say, I feel like a lot of time musicians and athletes are the same in a, in the way that people um, respond to them. How how you know you got, we live vicariously through you guys and stuff like that to be able to kind of help tell those stories of, of musicians and athletes there is a similar through line to it you know there yeah. definitely is um you've got to see some of the the, the best fights that oh ever happened Dude. um i did the first three vasquez marquez fights that's oh, crazy so <laughs> bro like right in the front too i'm sitting you know you're like right by the ring and then wow. i'm in there interviewing him afterwards and stuff like that because my friend used to train israel so yeah, like that that to me that was phenomenal. I'm seeing what like what are we watching? Let me ask you this. <laughs> let me let me ask you this because you know, I think this is a thing because I've heard it from some fighters and and George St. Pierre said he's he that he um went through this as well. Like when you're fighting someone that you looked up to, that you yeah. came up like idolizing, you know, that nervousness sometimes will work against you. Yes. Right? Um 
Do you think that's what happened to Cyril Gone? You know, I don't know. It's funny because I was talking to Cyril a couple weeks, like uh, his friend, his teammate fought on the uh, a couple weeks back. And this was, I was talking to Cyril before this fight got announced with John. And uh, there was a lot to think about. There was a lot on his mind. There was a lot to think about, you know, yeah. whether you wanted to be the first one back for John or if you wanted to like let him fight somebody else first. Yeah. Then come, you know, whatever. Um, I don't know if, I don't know if it was that Cyril... I don't know if it was that. I mean, John, I think, is intimidating, you yeah. know, being so, the goat and all that. Um, it's hard to say. He did also beat Cyril at the thing where Cyril is, quote, unquote, weakest, right? At right. The, at, so, the wrestling. Right. So it, it, it was the easiest path to victory for John, but also, uh, you know, it was probably a little bit of a lot of things. I, you know? I think when you're fighting a guy like that, um, you're not only fighting, like, his skill set, like, knowing he's a great fighter, but right. you're also fighting the fact that, like, everybody's calling him the GOAT. Right, you're fighting the legacy, yeah. you're fighting everything. Um, and by the way, John's also really good. Yeah. <laughs> like, so you're just fighting straight up John Jones, too, by yeah. the way. Damn. I mean, it was yeah. a trip to see him go up from light, light heavyweight yeah. to heavyweight like yeah. that. It's kind of like the way that Evander Holyfield did. You remember when Evander Holyfield came in? He was like a cruiserweight. Mm hmm in in boxing and then he bulked up came into that heavyweight division and mm -hmm. um john jones kind of did that yeah yeah i mean he had he had a lot of time uh to get there um he looked good he yeah looked good he looked good and everybody was arguing like oh cyril's going to be the most agile guy right so oh he's going to be chasing cyril around we, like people, we thought he would yeah we thought he we thought he would it didn't take him long to catch him you know there are definitely uh other fighters you know stipe's out here now saying that he'll beat john and he, he's not worried about it um stipe does have wrestling but stipe doesn't have the movement that cyril has and stuff so i don't know man i don't know it's it's gonna be interesting now it is, you but know. also, you know, there's that whole MMA math, and like, if you beat this guy, then they beat you, and that doesn't even always work. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's just different with John as a heavyweight now. It's just different, and apparently his skill set did transfer. <laughs> you he, know what I mean? That dude's got everybody's number. How would it be to go against the dude who's got your number, no like everybody's number? <laughs> what was funny is they they had it, it. There was, I think, a meme a meme about this, uh -huh. like, um, that all the dudes that were doing the. Um, the, the analysis or whatever, he's beaten all of them and they were all talking about yeah, it. Right, yeah, right. Well, right, because DC was calling it and people weren't sure at first if DC was going to call it. But DC, look, he's he's a professional. Yeah, he's a pro. Yeah, come on, come on. He's got class. He definitely does. Look, John, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, I guess, and that's the one part for Cyril, like losing to John. It's like, bro, everybody lost to John. Everybody lost to John. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Join the class. I, I wanted to ask you, like, uh, on, on your side of the profession, yeah. like, like, I come from the radio world, so uh -huh. like, I always had to keep up with music, uh -huh. you know, like what artists, what producer. How, how do yeah. you how do you do that and keep up with all these people and what they're what's good, what this guy's good? Because I'm you have to kind of right. know what you're doing. So and there's a lot of right. fighters. There's a lot of people. Right, like, for keep, sure. How do, how, do you, how do you do it? Like how do you put it together? Well, by the way, first and foremost, I started in radio too. Okay. Um, what was your name on the radio? It was just... <laughs> Julio G. <laughs> Julio G. Julio G. On the wheels. Okay. Um, no. So, uh, yeah, you know, obviously. Um, they're, they're they're always signing new kids and stuff like that. So it is hard. And like, you know, on Contender, you see kids and like every week I'll, uh, I'm going through and I'm writing my script and all the stuff. And I'm like, all right, I don't know this kid yet. You know, it, it's yeah. it's true. It's for me. So I watch a lot of footage. Um, we get all their fights and stuff before uh, before every event. Right. Mm. So I'll get like their last couple few fights. So you watch those. Um, you read a lot. You do interviews with stuff. But I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna pretend I've seen every single fight. It's of, hard to of, see every. Oh, it's hard. It's, yeah. it's yeah. really hard. You know, it's really really hard. Um, but you can also start to tell who you need to pay attention to. Who's coming to, up? Yep. You start to yeah. see some people, and it's not even just like you get your own opinion, but then you also start to see like who's got a presence, like who else, who are other people talking about and stuff like that, right? Who's starting to make some waves. Um, it's fun discovering new people, but I'm not going to lie. Like every, every week I'm like, bro's retiring. Oh, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. When you see like one of your guys that you've loved for a long time yeah. or that you feel is like your peer yeah. and then they're going and you're like, oh no. Like, but you know, they don't yeah. stay retired. I know. Well, Chuck Liddell's the only guy who's like been retired for a while now that has stayed retired. I, he shouldn't stay retired. Yeah, he should. I love Chuck. He, he was great. <laughs> Don't he, fight anymore, though. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? That should, last yeah. one was hard. Yeah, that we, last all, one was hard. We, we were bummed, you know? And yeah. I know it was, you know, big for Tito and stuff like that, but, like, it, it kind of hurt. It took Tito all them fights to beat him, though. So yeah. did he really beat him? I mean, he did, but <laughs> is it really a win? I, Damn. Uh, well, look, if you've had 
four, what was it, four fights, right? Uh, yeah, or, I think that was the fourth. The fourth right? fight. If you had four fights with the guy, he's beat you the first three. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think he has your number. Yeah, right, he, yeah. the fourth one you won because yeah. he was not ready and he was not even right, you know right. trying to fight anymore. But he he that was just to get back in it. Yeah. Just to get it back in. It was hard though because we all love him so much. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? It's Damn. like you, oh, you wanted the best, but I was there, and it was like oh, it just uh, for Tito, he finally got over that yeah, hill. He I, finally got over the mountain. Right. If you're uh, if you're if if you're Team Tito, it was it was cool. You know what I mean? And I have no issues with Tito. I'm just saying that one was like eh, it just felt like it was past time. It was like when Pacquiao fought um, Marquez, like you know, three times. Right, and on right. the third time, finally this dude wins, but he knocks Pacquiao the fuck out. But, like, he beat you the other two times. Right. Like, there was not even need for it. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, I, I just violated. <laughs> oh! Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> but I'm not going to ask for a reprieve, neither. That, that was well warranted. Um, But I'm saying, like, um, it took him three fights to win that Pacquiao didn't Manny didn't have to give him the third fight he had already beat him the right. the first two fights it was like a money play and that money play is not you know like they say right <laughs> not all money is good money yeah, right. Manny found that out that night yeah because Marquez came in ripped <laughs> more ripped than he had ever been if you looked at him you were like oh my god this fool put some work in yeah and he gave it to Manny but only because Manny threw an off balance punch and ran right into it, mm. but it, and, and and in that part of the fight, anyone could get knocked out. Mm. Yeah, anything can happen at any anything time. Your fate happen. can change at, at a moment's yeah. notice. Like speaking of that, uh, Grasso oh, and Valentina oh and, and Shevchenko. Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God is right. Like nobody. Valentina is the queen, right? She's the queen. Yeah, she's 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 she amazing. She. No one saw that coming. Nobody saw that coming. And Alexa is such a sweet girl, and everybody kind of just was like, oh, oh, good for Alexa getting this chance. Like, <laughs> it'll be a great learning moment for her for when she's really ready. You know what I mean? A lot of people kind of thought that because they just thought it was too soon for her. She was number six before this. Uh, and everybody knew she had the best boxing going into this one. Yeah, her boxing was good. Amazing. She's got great boxing. But um, she, you know, people just didn't think, no no other time had Valentina given you a reason to think she could lose. Tyler Santos got pretty, you know, she got she got close. Uh, closer than anybody had ever gotten. But um, Alexa definitely shocked the world. She literally shocked the world. And oh, it's yeah. the whole thing with That's the spin. That's the one here we're watching? Yes, yeah, yeah. so it's the spin. It's like when Chael spun against Anderson. Mm. But it's like it, the spin, and then Alexa was able to jump on there, just just capitalize on that moment so quickly. Damn. And perfect timing. And the, and that's the ironic thing is that Alexa is a boxer. You know what I mean? And she submitted her. And she her. choked her out, yeah. yeah. Wow. And, and cool. you know, she was like the underdog in this fight, like Big, by a lot. Oh, Big time. We saw this. What, what, do you, what do you like, the, what, boxing or the or the MMA? So, um, what's like the like? So I do. I look at. I grew up, like I said, watching boxing. So to me, I'm always gonna love the stand up part of the fighting more. Uh, although I do love jujitsu, I love the the chess match of it. And when you do see two people that are great at it, uh, it you know, it's really interesting. It's a puzzle, and you're trying to figure out who's gonna who's gonna sort of lock the other one in and something. So it is very interesting. But you know. Nobody loves anything more than a knockout, right? So I definitely do love the boxing, um, but I love I love putting it all together. I'm gonna say when I watch boxing now, I'm like, shoot, taking the, you know, yeah, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like, like, <laughs> not like damn, you know, like I, yeah. I want a little bit more now. Yeah. Um, but at first, uh, it was hard for me, even coming from you know boxing and stuff like that. Like I was squeamish. People are dropping elbows, and shit. I was like, uh, oh, wow. uh, you know. It it was yeah that's the and you're culture right there shock. That. Yeah, I know but at, right at there, first crazy. I was yeah at first I was a little like Ugh, I don't know but it was now, like culture shock to you right for sure um, but now uh, but now I, I I get it it's just hard because they're my friends now yeah just, so yeah right. see somebody well, get bust open right yeah how about the crowd happens. though is the crowd more exciting in the boxing game or in the MMA. You know, MMA is better because they show up uh, early. Because I will say this, like a boxing card, you guys know. Yeah. The last two fights are wired there. And maybe the second to last one, right? Yeah, yeah. But otherwise, it's cans and yes. jokers. So on it's the... peppered up with people at this right. point. But a UFC fight card, 
from the curtain jerker. I got to thank my guy, Mike Chiesa, for that phrase. Wow, that's, that's <laughs> isn't, awesome. Isn't it good? It sounds so dirty. <laughs> curtain jerker. The curtain jerker. That means it's, it's the... Oh, it's so it, good. It's the fr- I know. I never heard that. That's Bless you, Michael, Michael Chiesa. I love him for that. Uh, <laughs> so the curtain jerker is the first fight of the night. And, uh, and so, yeah, so, but from that one, that's sometimes his fight of the night. You know what I mean? Like, so a UFC card, they put that together top to bottom. So you're an a-hole if you don't show up early. Early, Yeah. You want to watch the whole thing. That's cool. I I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, Like when when you look on camera, like at the crowd and the, the, the people in the stands, you see a lot more people are Mm -hmm. already there for an MMA fight, even for like the prelims, Mm -hmm. you know, before more than boxing because it's true like you you don't want to sit there for for fighters you don't know in boxing you wait you wait for the headliners and you want to walk in and make an appearance get into your seat ringside which sucks which sucks for the fighters that are on on the card you know because you i mean it's much like it's much like when like we were starting out right in hip-hop we're opening for a a, a much bigger group right when we go out there um and we're not known yet. We're performing to maybe a third of what's going to be there. Mm-hmm. And then by the time the headliner gets on, um, it's the swell. Like, we went through that um, <laughs> in De- in Tiger Stadium. Remember that? With, oh, um, with, with, in Detroit. With, was Uh-oh. that with Eminem? With, no, it was no. Kid Rock. It was Kid Rock. That's it was right. Kid Rock. It was a Kid Rock show. And... Uh, this is the day that Send Dog yeah, got yeah. really loaded and yeah. half moon the crowd. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, the house. <laughs> yeah, he got kind of he got kind of faded, and you know Send Dog likes to sag, you know, and he was not aware that he was sagging all the way out. <laughs> and I, I'm doing my verse, you know, and I look up on the big screen, and boom, there goes the half moon. It was like oh. butt cheeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but. Um, that was besides the point. Um, we we were playing at you know the uh, really t- Tiger yeah. Stadium. So nobody's in, there in Detroit, and it was like this place holds what twenty thousand some odd people. There was seven thousand people there. Yeah, so <laughs> you know, scattered, authentic. scattered, right. and yeah. and and this is like you know we <laughs> previous to that show, we had been playing a bunch of like headline co-headline was it daylight swell too? yeah it, but we you know kid rock act or someone asked us to play this with kid rock yeah. so we're like all right cool we didn't realize we were playing at 6 30 <laughs> which is really early yeah it is Hello. and uh yeah those fans didn't show up until kid rock brought his ass up on stage then it was like Whoa. wow so you know it's it's it kind of impacts like Same what you thing. do up there sometimes it you can. Know? but i will say you know i used to like I said, I used to work in radio, and I actually was maybe going to try to get an A&R gig. Um, but then I started working at MTV instead. Um, but I went to a million clubs to see a million bands, you know, play to 10 people, 12 people. And it sucked. I always felt really bad for the bands, you know. Yeah. But you got to show out anyway. You got to do um, your thing. And yeah. so the fighters don't, you know, the fighters always deliver. Uh, so like I said, go early. If you get a ticket to a UFC fight, go. Go, go early. early. Yeah. 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 Don't. Hey, I was I was gonna ask you what what's the radio you used to do? WBRU. So I'm like a uh, I I'm like a nerd. Um, I like went to college and like <laughs> double majored and stuff oh, like that. So um uh so I but I worked at radio the whole time I was there. So I would go and do a morning show for like three hours and then I would go to school. So it was WBRU in Providence, Rhode Island. Like, like college. Yeah. So it yeah. was it was right. Yeah, but it was like a commercial station. So yeah. we had you know it was twenty thousand watts. It was a P one station. Um, so Damn. commercial. So like I said, I was doing morning drive and then later on I was doing afternoon drive. I was music director. Director, then I was program director. Uh, and so that's when I met, where I met guys like the Chili Peppers and stuff like that. Mm. Because initially we were a rock and roll station, AOR station, and then we switched formats to alternative. Uh, and so we were playing at Ramones, you know what I mean? And we were playing just like way cooler stuff. Uh, and then, uh, so that's when I started to know like the Chili Peppers and Jane's Addiction and, and stuff like that early on from, uh, we didn't play as much rap, uh, like on the weekends we did there. Um, but that wasn't as much in the rotation, but that's where I met, uh, a lot of people. And then when I got to MTV, uh, you know, they were blowing up even bigger and stuff like oh, that. Yeah. So, 
Cool. Yeah. How did they? How did MTV find you over there? And so I made a. Uh, they were. I heard they were looking for for people. I made an audition. I I remember it. Um, I might even, I might even have it now. I found a bunch. I got a bunch of my old stuff, and I'm digitizing a bunch of old crap. So just get ready for like some Stove. random old shit. <laughs> nice. Um, but so I like did a thing where I was like at the radio station, and I had a CD, and I remember I was like doing my lipstick. I was like, oh hey, oh hey, girl, you know, one of those things, and uh, just was talking to the camera something and then I think I just put some air checks in from you know me DJing or whatever um it wasn't so much of a you know it was just sort of like a hey that was a so-and-so and and, you know talking over like intros and stuff like that it wasn't kind of like oh like a morning show radio thing like that it was you know just kind of straight up regular DJing and stuff like that but it was cool and I would interview a lot of people Lenny Kravitz I'm you know met from way back when and um it's cool like it's it's cool a lot of the people are like massive stars it's, it's it, pretty cool it's, it's a trip when you're talking to different celebrities and then you got and then you realize some are really really nice yeah. and some are really really not right. and yep. so you you have to like kind of know how to kind of maneuver through that because yeah. you expect something you oh, man, I love this artist and then you walk up right. and like man this guy's a jerk off right? yeah. and then you meet this other person I thought this guy would be some, the nicest guy yeah, in the yeah, world right. man wow I, I will say most writers are cool I used cool, to go though. through that in the radio game I, would yeah. think, I thought this rapper was going to be so cool but he's really just not right i know and then this other one is so cool like you know so that's what I, that's what's kind of trippy about meeting so many different celebrities yeah know? it it really is and i will say though most of the fighters are cool the ones that aren't are really few and far between like they're cool they have nothing to prove they're not gonna you know what i mean like yeah. they don't walk into a room right. and act like jerks they don't have to alpha anybody they know yeah, yeah. like you know what i mean yeah. so most of them are really cool yeah yeah well, that's cool. Cause are they all cool with each other though? Like when they get no. off? Oh, no. not all the time. Huh? <laughs> yeah, no. so it'd be it'd be beef. About, oh no, be, beef is yeah, real. Like you know, yeah, because I lost. You know, I just For don't like sure. this person. Okay. Yeah. Well, so the thing is, is like sometimes you know, after you lose or whatever, the respect level goes up. It's yeah. like, man, I didn't, you know, I didn't, you had my number like that. You got, all right, I got you, you know, you got me. But then, <laughs> or other times, though, it's like, I'm, you know, I need a rematch. I need a, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, but, you know, certainly different teams it, have beef. Uh, you know, people talk crap to each other all the wow. time. I wonder uh, if that was... So a lot of that is real. Now, a lot of it is just to kind of build up a fight, but a lot of it is definitely real. Wow. I, I wonder if there's any of them that, like, didn't want the rematch. Like, oh hell no, I'm not <laughs> back in the ring with this <laughs> this guy. Hell no, <laughs> nope. I mean, I don't think th- they would ever admit that though, because it's like they. I think you got to have the alpha mentality. Yeah. Like, I'll fight anybody. You know, okay, you got me on this one, but we're gonna have another one. I yeah. think after Mike Tyson touches you, I know, think after <laughs> Mike, t- yeah, you might. <laughs> that's a that great one. point. Yeah. You might think that one out. No, because Julio, you don't feel really? that yeah. you'd be like, oh, that, I don't know if I want to fall into. I don't know if I need that's, to That's that's an amazing point. Yeah. You want to know why? Because most of the fighters that he beat on his way to the title, including the guys he took it from, didn't box much longer after that because they're like, if he's holding the title, I don't yeah. want it. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I mean, it. yeah, I don't know. It'll be interesting now to see everybody kind of like make a run at John. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Well, I would see. imagine the heavyweights are a little bit more confident though, because it's like they're heavyweights and he mm-hmm. had to come up. So yeah, and 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 the thing is too, heavyweights have um, like the the oldest average. Uh, they're the oldest average weight class. Like a lot of heavyweights don't really come into their own till they're like thirty six, thirty seven. Right. So uh, so yeah, and one punch can really really change everything. So yeah, I feel like a lot of them. You know, Stipe has every right to be confident. A lot of people True consider that. him the greatest heavyweight of all time. He, so, he is. So right. So he has every reason to be confident. And I didn't want it to imply that yeah. he shouldn't be. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I didn't. I didn't think he wouldn't be because yeah. I mean, he he's <laughs> he's taken he's down. Stipe. He's Stipe. He's <clears throat> considered the the greatest heavyweight yeah. of all time, and he's taken down some of the other goats within mm, exactly. the, the 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 weight class, and exactly. that says a lot. And the uh, but I respect John Jones at the fact that he's like, I want to climb that of mountain. Of course, hell yeah, yeah. I want to climb that mountain. If he's the, if he's the yeah. goat, I want to beat the goat. Yeah, for sure. So you guys know about his brothers too, right? You're yeah. Like, you know his family's like freakishly athletic. Yeah, they're right? all huge dudes. It's too. insane. His two brothers, he has two Super Bowl winners in wow. his family. Wow. Arthur wow. and Chandler. And it's insane. Uh, cause I'm from Boston. So, you know, I'm a Patriots fan. Sorry. It's okay. Now everybody doesn't <laughs> mind now that Tom's gone. Yeah, he's everybody <laughs> hated us for so long. Oh, cause you guys were winning everything. I know. 
Um, whatever. Don't hate the player. Hate the player. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, um, you know, but so that, so, but yeah, Chandler was on our team, but then his other brother, Arthur also won a Super Bowl. So it's like two Super Bowl winners and the freaking goat. Like, how is that? How is that they for got, one family? They got championship lineage Seriously, in the family. It's wild. The three, the three champs. <laughs> Somebody yeah. taught them discipline very early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it's, yeah. About. it's really cool. It's yeah, really, really, really great. Cool. Yeah, when you think about it, all of them were the best that they could be at their prospective at their sports. That's crazy. And that's that takes discipline. You know what else is cool though, and I I don't know if it has changed, but I remember a long time ago John telling me though he was like, but he's like I can't throw a ball. You know what I mean? Like he was saying, like his his athleticism didn't translate to what they could do, and right. like I think vice versa. Like right, they right. all, you know, which was which is also kind of interesting. Yeah. Hey, I don't, I don't, I don't watch like a lot of like UFC and, mm -hmm. and boxing because I don't have time like that. But I do catch okay. it from time to time, especially with these guys when I was on tour with them. Um, is is that is the game like the top game or is it is is it the getting on the ground? What is what is the technique that you think is 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 more successful in that UFC? So still in all if you are a great striker, you're going to win a lot of fights. Okay. You know what I mean? So if you're a great boxer, a great kickboxer, um you're going to do really 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 well. Wrestling is also key. So wrestling can neutralize anybody. Mm. So that's the thing I would say like if you have one root if you're going to start with one root sport Wrestling is often the best one because oh, at the end of the day, like you could just drown a guy. Once you, you get know? him on the yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, you could just yeah. drown him, you yeah. know. And Shout out to the Godfather. <laughs> <You know? laughs> He's a wrestler. <laughs> and drown. Yeah, you know, and you just can't do anything about it. So you mm. could be the flashiest striker on the planet, but if I get you down and I know then how to control it. you, then what are you gonna do? Yeah. So yeah. Um so that that is something that can be like the most dominant, and that's why John Jones has um that edge over a lot of other people because he's such a great wrestler as well as a great improvisational striker, you know. Mm. Um, um, but so, you know, but great, but strike, great striking is going to win fights like knockouts, you know, knockouts are amazing and a lot of things end in, and a lot of fights end in knockouts. So I would say like, if you can, if you can strike, go for it, oh, okay. but always have wrestling in your back. What you see is the guys that come in with the wrestling skills, they maybe, maybe even, you know, Olympic gold medals and stuff like that. They got that that wrestling base. So they start working on their hands. Yep. And if they get that part of it, down which a lot of them do a lot of them get, uh, end up with really good hands um man it's a vicious combination that's yeah a vicious yeah. combination because it's like harder to get good at wrestling than it is to get good at yeah. striking right yeah so you know what i mean yeah. the guys that have been wrestling all their life it's just different they have that conditioning they have this mindset like their their grind is different yeah it's a, it's already in them mm. at this point so like to learn the hands that's do you remember somebody that got got like that? That was a good striker, but he got he he that person got him. I mean, on the yeah, floor that, that, uh, that happens to guys like they'll like Edson Barboza or something like that. Mm. People will just take him down instead. Mm. Um, but if you want to watch him strike, it's just like oh my god, it's like yeah, if you get hit by oh it, he, uh, god, he catches he's, you. It's, he's it's on. Phenomenal. Yo, KB. Yeah. Let me ask you. Um, sure, sure. What do you think about power slapping? The, the, yeah, have you been? Have you have you checked that <laughs> out that lately? That's like to the, me. That's the, the next level of you know yeah. the next after I mean, UFC. <laughs> if you're into it, what do you think? I'm about into it. it. I mean, uh, it's it's like you a little warm UFC up before the fight. Hey, warm up. Hey, when you see you know? some of, when you see um, some of those clips, they're crazy. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't do it, bro. Can it's I crazy. just say it's not for me? Ah, yeah. come on. It's, you are UFC. Uh, you should it's, love this. It's like, just not for me. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know what's what what I find crazy about it is that like you got to have your hands uh, like in the back like yeah. with this <laughs> thing holding holding, yeah. holding yeah. your hands back so you no. can't it looks like, like it's, it's just, just wide open. Hurts no, too much. You. It's too much. I it's can't much. I don't I don't I don't like that you can't defend yourself. Yeah, and when you see their face uh, after they get yeah. as their face I actually skip their, by that. I just can't see uh, it. I just it's too much. I mean, you can defend uh, yourself. Sorry. You just got to take that slap and uh, then come back. Uh, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Why did yeah, you have to ask me? Cut that part out. Oh. Oh. Exit in the edit. <laughs> yeah, that's a no Come thank on. you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's 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 crazy to see that. Like the 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 couple that we've seen here, the ones that like from the Russia slap league were brutal. <laughs> that dude's head got yeah like, yeah. Totally... That was like 
Yeah. <laughs> that's oh my like, God. I, that's yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's brutal. Oh, <laughs> I had a Samoan friend back in the days in the eighties. He used to do security for us, uh -huh. and the he had to, he couldn't fist punch. That's how strong he was. <gasps> right. You met him. You met my friend. Hey, yeah, who yeah. was that big Samoan band that used to hang out? The Booyah Tribe. Booyah Tribe. Right, right. Yeah, they're right. actually related. They're related. Yeah. Oh, cool. But this Those guy guys was really a big, a big guy. So he got into a situation where he punched somebody, and and he had to like register with the LAPD that he would only open oh, slap. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. 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 That's how powerful he was. That's but crazy. but that I can crazy. imagine that guy's even slapping you. Yeah. You know, you know, just a slap. like a bear. Pop. Have you ever seen somebody get knocked out in one of those slaps? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Wow. Plenty of time. They're getting knocked out left and right yeah. on these new wow. slap leagues. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it, these dudes are like like you could see their soul leaving their bodies. <laughs> yeah, man. Talk it's horrible. About slap the ish out of you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're we're good. We're good. We're past the thirty, so we could say what the fuck we want <laughs> now without it. Like any a few of them. A few of them are even. And like light concussions, you know what I mean? It's just like they're that hard where you're just oh. like, yo, you should probably go get that checked out. <laughs> yeah, I'm you sure should. there's a medical crew. Yeah. 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 I'm surprised they should probably done a skit like that, man, about the, oh, some pimps. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 I used to slap a bitch. Oh gosh! Hey, hey, oh man! Hey. <laughs> They're like ringers. They just bring in the pimps for like the <laughs> so, yeah, the pimp slap league. The pimp slap league. Oh man! No, now you're on to something. That, we, oh. PSL. If the, yeah, if, if, if he had the show going, man, the, the go pimp slap league. And then also like the league. bottom bitches also get to fight each other. Right? <laughs> oh yeah, oh, right? oh, the hair yeah. pull contest. Oh. <laughs> you think you see? Oh, they had a hood UFC. Oh my god. Bro. The hood FC. The hood, oh, hood FC. Oh my god. <laughs> the hood I'm, fight. Pretty, I'm pretty sure it's out there, B. I'm, I'm sure. sure it is in the backyard. No, yeah, it's there. already those, there, man. Those are it's, fun. It's I mean, <laughs> if if you think they're like, Rest think about it. If they're ball. doing, if they're doing backyard wrestling, they're right. definitely doing that. Oh and, yeah. And I mean, look, George Masvidal comes from. Come that. on. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I wish they would do that in the hood though. Instead of gunfight fights and all that, and scrap it out. Man, you know what? For real, let's just do a hood FC. Fair one, and, hood and FC, and make money to make bring money. back to the community. You're right. You're right. And bring back to help the kids. And you guys can scrap it out. Two hundred fifty dollars goes to the right. winner. And whatever wins, you get your G, you get your thousand, and, and whatever. <laughs> cool. ah, bring good. the gang. That's a good idea. Yeah. All right, we're gonna start the hood, the, the, the hood FC, <laughs> man. Come into a hood. Man. They're gonna be some dope ring girls. Can you? I can already only imagine. Do some hood training. Oh man! Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, that would win. I'm that trying. Would, to. Bro. Oh my god! Let's do it. You stop a lot of beef. That's for sure. Mm. It would. You're it right. would. It if, really if would. If people would just catch a fair one, as opposed right. to like, they'll be they'll be trying to get that payola yeah. instead of yeah that bread too right, killing right, each other. Right, but you know, right, like right. folks on the street can't take a knockout. They don't have that. You know, like it's like too much pride. Like, oh, he got me in front of everybody. I gotta go man, get that. We all Smoke know this part of the game. It yeah. happens to everybody. <laughs> yeah, man. man. But <laughs> like, <laughs> sign, sign, sign this, sign on this dotted line. It's a fair one. <laughs> it's a fair one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's that's what you call the match. A fair one. Yeah, because everybody, yes. you know, they be asking for the fade. Okay, you want the fade? Okay, we'll okay. Get, set the fade up. Okay. Okay. We'll make two million off that fade and help the kids out. <laughs> you know? That'd be the name and, of the event. Hood FC Fade One. <laughs> fade One. <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah that'd be cool man. what a Would fight be. card we could put together yeah. oh my god i mean they were kind of doing it didn't didn't like some rapper squab somewhere what, what was that at wasn't it one of these in la they did it it was um it was a friend of mine named danny that did it um what is that called? I think it was Forty Glock. For, no, no, oh Spider Logos. Oh, you know what? Yeah, wasn't it? Wasn't yeah. it a few? It was a few. There was matches. something going on like I think, that. Uh, wow. I think. Um, I think my man, rest in peace, from Caution too. I think he got in there, and fought with somebody. Um, yeah, yeah, but that was a while ago. That, that, that was a few years back they were doing it, but it was very small. You know what I mean? But if we got that on popping. That I think Hood FC will be Hood FC. Hood FC. Hood FC. Hood Hood FC. FC. Hood FC. I'll put a ring right in here, God damn it. Yeah. Yeah, oh my know? God, yes. <laughs> yeah, man. That'd be great. I'll take this table damn. out. I'll do play put by the play. Bring it, yep. With bar 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 wire. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, bar wire. Bar wire. Oh my God. That would oh, be something. God. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh my God. That that would be brutal. That would. Um, oh, Mike Epps was detained uh, and under investigation for bringing a, strap. A, a loaded gun to the airport. Oh, oh, I don't wow. blame him, man. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you why. 
You got to be Smith. strapped, bro. Anthony you, Smith did that too recently. To yeah. the, I don't blame to him the, either. To the mm -hmm. airport? Yeah. Man, look. Check this out. When you start carrying a gun because you think it's not safe on, out here and on, he knows it's not safe. On the plane. I'm, sa I'm saying he probably oh. forgot because he keeps it with him so much. He probably forgot it was even in the bag. Yeah, that's Because that's, that's what happens a lot to a lot of people. Julio, Julio, I've been a cowboy since day one. <laughs> um, I ain't never took the strap to the airport that my strap was in <laughs> yeah, the bag you just don't forget uh, things yeah. like that you, know? you got to be like, listen you got to be beyond high yeah. i don't know yeah. Twist. Yeah, that, dead ass or it's just like you said in your bag all the time it's in your bag that's what anthony smith said it happened to him in I, in nebraska and everybody in nebraska just cared you know what i mean everybody it, that, but whatever it's a different kind you know what i mean everybody just got my, got my and bros, he forgot it in his bag and showed up at the airport my bros need to be more mindful then that's true. Yes. Happens, they need to be more mindful. But I'm just saying, on the sense of, I understand because a lot of people, they are strapped. Yes. Because it is, Mike Epps is known, man. He, he, he don't want somebody. Oh, I don't blame him, him for having it. You know? But just so, to but like. You, gotta, you can't go to the airport. Come on, man. You can't <laughs> on, take it. Come on, bro. Don't fuck I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know what it is. He probably had the bag. And he was driven to the airport, yeah. right? right? You know, and right. what are you going to do? Leave it with the driver? Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, man, I, I forgot. Mean, I guess you have to, though. Well, you I mean, should. Well, you it could have been mean, in the side pocket mm -hmm. bag, and you just grabbing bags, throwing your clothes in. I got to hurry and go make this money real quick. And boom, I forgot it's in my bag. I got guns all over the house. So it sounds like and, this has happened to you. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, no, 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 let me tell you. It the could. Crazy, let me tell you the crazy <laughs> part about it. It's actually don't forget the bag. That's what's the important part. So every time I have this bag, uh -huh. I got to make sure, don't forget this bag because there's something in it. You know, that's the reason why I got this bag. Okay. But I can understand because I've carried my gun in a bag a lot of times. You I, know, you know, I can understand like, you forget it's even in there. I could tell you a secret is don't care, don't put the gun in the backpack <laughs> that you normally right. get down with because you will forget it in yep. there. You always have it. You yeah. have to have it in a different Yep spot and don't keep it in that one because that's how you forget yeah no, you, you miss you misplace it i mean i could give you a great example right i put a jar of weed in your backpack by accident thinking yep. it was mine exactly i almost got busted for that <laughs> because <laughs> because we have the same style backpack yep. and i always put weed in my backpack <laughs> And I, I ended shit. up putting weed in his backpack. Oh that was a good was one. That was a good one. <laughs> no, we were, I remember we, that. And name. we were somewhere. And we where somewhere, did you get in trouble? Yeah, we're, no, we were somewhere. <laughs> we're traveling somewhere in Europe. Uh -huh. And so as I go through the screener, oh no, I'm like, yeah. um, well, they don't she, play around over she, there. She opens the bag, and I, I'm like. I'm like, damn, did I just smell some weed? Because <laughs> because oh I'm very careful God. because I don't want to mess up my passport. Sure. So I'm very careful. Even though I love to smoke weed, I don't I don't just be just with right. it. You know, so I'm like, okay, I, I, I don't got no weed. Right. So, so she, I think, caught some whiff of it too, and maybe second thought. I don't know. Uh, yeah, she did. So she ran the that bag was some good again. Weed. <laughs> she ran the bag again, uh -uh. Uh -uh. and then she let me go. So I'm like, okay, okay, cool. But in my head, I'm like, damn, did I just smell some weed though? <laughs> so I sit down. I'm right next to Be Real, and I'm going through the bag, mm -mm. and all of a sudden, I smell like weed. I'm like, wow, wait a minute, bro. And I look in the little <laughs> crevice right here, and it's like a it's like a uh, a half ounce. Uh oh. And Biro, I'm like, oh man, who the fuck put this weed in here? And Biro's like, oh, there's my weed, bro. Damn, I was looking for that. <laughs> wow. I'm like, be real, you almost got me popped, man. <laughs> hey, that was like a half ounce. It was like a half ounce. That's why it smells so. When she opened the bag, I'm yeah. like, damn it, that smell weed. I got weed in my bag. What the fuck? Well, yeah, man, B Roman's got me uh, popped, right? Well, I would suck. <laughs> but he was like, "Good looking, you brought the weed." <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean though about stressing out because I I've been to Russia a couple times and you don't play. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I like yeah. every single nook and cranny of every single bag. You know what I mean? Same. We've yeah. been there too, so yeah. we yeah. we understand totally. You <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you get something there, smoke it, mm -hmm. finish it there. Yeah. Don't bring anything. No. Oh, hell no. Nah. Uh -huh. Hell no. Nah. Don't uh -huh. keep no roaches. No. Nope. Don't don't, don't bro, yeah. throw everything nope. out every time you smoke. Don't yeah. keep no little small stuff because it'll end up in your bag or whatever. You're yeah. not paying attention and before you know it. Because they Done. take that serious. Yeah, oh, they, yeah. Oh, yeah, they do. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> they take that very serious. It was fun to do the show there, but, like, when you think about, like, <laughs> how they look at, you know, how they look at Americans and all the stuff and, like, you know, them hacking into your devices yeah. Yeah. from yeah. certain spots and... You know, spyware and all that type well, of Well, see, I hadn't thought of that. And then 
somebody I work with, they were like, you know, we were in uh, St. Petersburg or something. They were like, yeah, well, you know, the room's, you know, bugged and stuff, right? And Everything. Like, and I was like, oh, I didn't even think of that. Bugged, you know, camera. Like, but that's what I, <laughs> wow. but then you're just sort of like, uh, all right, you know, and then you figure, like, I'm not doing anything that interesting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know. That's but then cool. I kind of forgot, you know, you, you think about it and then you're like, oh, well, what am I going to do? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's crazy being in a foreign place, mm-hmm. worrying about those stoner mm-hmm. problems. <laughs> Real. <laughs> Real talk. Oh, the anxieties. Today's National Cereal Day. What's your favorite cereal, yeah. Julio? My favorite cereal. Damn, I want to say Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops? I don't do, I don't do really cereal a lot, but I'll say old school Fruit Loops. Less. Uh, I'm going to keep it old school Raisin Bran. Raisin Bran. Wow. Good. That's healthy. How about you, see? Uh Frosted shredded mini wheats. I like those. How about you, Karen? Frosted Flakes. Frosted yeah, flakes. Classic. I like those yeah. too. The yeah, sugary, the sugary <laughs> of the sugary. That with like a, with a side of Captain Crunch. All right. <laughs> Ooh. Hey. Yeah. I. I. I the Honey Nut Cheerios. Nice. Delicious. That. Nice. Yeah. And good for you. It is good for you. That's what they say. <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> Who really knows? It's the cereal. It's yeah. the cereal. <laughs> Hey, are those fruity pebbles that they just fruity do? pebbles? Yeah, yeah, those are pretty good. How about yeah. cereal on donuts? That we, oh yeah, that's pretty yeah. Good. The fruity pebble donut is good. Yeah, yeah, they do that in the hood. I've seen yeah. those. Hey, those are like key when you're at a stoner event and you need the sugar. You get doubled up right there. <laughs> 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 doubled up. Well, we were throwing our Dr. Green Thumb experience uh, events here. Yeah, we would always have the donut truck. Roll up, yeah. Man. Dream donut truck, man. Ooh. They would sell out in each and every of goddamn course. donut they had, and they were wow. delicious. I like an apple fritter. Wow. Yeah, so. that their apple Ooh, fritters were awesome too. Awesome. Every donut they had, fritters. yeah. And yeah. they had the cereal donuts with the Fruit Loops nice. on, nice, killing it. And the Boring rice, uh, not the Rice Krispies, the other ones. Uh, what the fuck are they called? Um, God damn the it. pebbles, the fruity pebbles, fruity pebbles, fruity yeah. pebbles. Yeah. Yes, that yeah. that's what it was. Fruity pebbles. Yeah. They had the Fruit Loops and fruity pebbles. Sprinkled on some oh, of that's, that's shit. What was, what was your worst cereal back then? The worst you, cereal? You didn't. Oh. <sighs> Chex? I remember Apple Jacks. <laughs> <laughs> start, like, Apple, Apple Jacks is the No, Chex is not a cereal. Hold up. Or yeah, or, honey, Jack, what? Yeah. or honeycomb, like the. Honey, Dig em yeah. Smacks. Yeah. Dig em Smacks. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Sugar yeah. Smacks? That was good. Yeah, those ones are Yeah, Sugar Smacks. That's right. Oh, Word? They were Dig em Smacks first, and then they. You know what I don't. There was something peanut butter. I don't like peanut butter, so there was some nasty peanut butter thing yeah. I didn't like. Mm, yeah. uh, ra- I, my least favorite was raisin bran. Me too. I want to say raisin bran. I wasn't yeah. a raisin yeah. bran. Like I like you know as a, as a grown up, but you know as a yeah. kid, of course, I like yeah. all the junk. Too. I want to yeah. try Snoop's uh, cereal. I just haven't seen it. What is it called? It's called uh, Snoop a Loop. Snoop a Loop. Really? Or something. Oh I don't know. Wow. What's the flavor? It's like kind of like Fruit Loops, but it's like Snoop Super style. Loops? Yeah. I like how he's just getting into everything. Me too. I was just going to say. He is just yeah. everywhere Snoop. at all. Look, Snoop Loops. Ah, those look Snoop like, Loops. like he, Yeah, Snoop I would Loops. try those. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'd try those too. Like Fruit Loops and Lucky Charms together. <laughs> More marshmallows. <laughs> What's up with that little cow? Fruit Loops <laughs> don't be having no marshmallows, baby. <laughs> nah, but that was Snoop. Like, but that's him. Put that, that's <laughs> like the Lucky, that's the Lucky Charms uh, spin on it. Yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah man. Lucky Charms was, Lucky was pretty Charms cool. Lucky Charms is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Lucky Charms is Yeah, Snoop is doing it, man. He's doing he he is. He's in everything. Uh, I laugh too. That like with him on every commercial and like you know what? Uh, I, oh, speaking of, we were talking about uh, iced tea before. The fact yeah. that there's like that one commercial where he's like he's doing the yoga. Down the, yeah, oh. I was like, dude. The first time I saw, I was like, what the? What, what am I looking at right now? <laughs> I didn't know what I, what was happening because I was like, wait. That's that's cap killer. Like, wait, what? Like, I didn't. You know what I mean? It's just crazy. Like we were saying before, like how you see people evolve and change and get into new stuff. And yeah. I, it just kind of blew me away. I was like, wow. It's, it's like gr- he became like he became beloved by yeah. grandmas and everybody now. Yeah. Like it's kind of wild to think they were hating on him I in know. the beginning. I know. So hard, I heavy. Know. And now he's like a Heavy. household he, name. Yeah, it's amazing. As he should be. It's, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's it's just amazing. It was just it's just like what am I seeing here? Yeah. yeah. Same same with Snoop. They wasn't right, all right, right, right. Snoop in the beginning either, you know. Yeah. I think the Martha Stewart thing really helped him. Oh yeah. Oh, getting, that was yeah. Big. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Getting getting. Hey, look, Ice T likes cereal too. Look at that. He's, I think yeah. he likes cereal. <laughs> he's, he's got he's on that Wheaties, Mike. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Wheaties, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Wheaties, Mike. Wheaties with a D. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
I never seen Ice Smoke though. Like in all my no. time that I've like no. hung out with him and and uh, seeing him anywhere. I don't think yeah. he's ever. We even talked about it in songs. I don't think. No, nah, never. I don't think he's ever talked nah. about really? it even no. in songs about weed. No. He's from the old school though. That's why yeah. Ice, people yeah. people don't know. But Ice is a little older. So yeah. He's, yes, he's like he 60. was an OG when he popped off. He was already he had been done it, been doing it in right. the, in the background in right. L.A. You know what I mean? Right. He was, he was already LA older, known. like on the Lollapalooza. He yeah, he was, was doing break. He was already had been done breaking before Colors came out. He right. already had done breaking yeah. years before that. Reckless and Reckless and all those records. And then before that, he had the Cold Wind Madness. Cold that was Madness. like the first the thing. first joint. Yeah, that might have been like 82, 83. Right. Yeah, you know I mean, so he's. By the time he popped, he already had been in L.A. Like, I always tell people, he was always a star already. Yeah. Pretty much. To us. Right, right, yeah. right, right, that's right. Ice-T. When you've seen him. Oh, that's Even when he pulled up at Backyard Party. He was a star, He bro. was a star. He, oh, always really? looked, yeah. he always looked like money. That's, he always looked like a star cool. to do. That's one thing about him. He's he's just always been fly that's since cool. the beginning. Before the the real fame. He yeah, it was, it was fly, bro. Yeah, it was I mean, crazy before you started, like, you know. You see him like really rise. He was already a name in LA that huh. it was respected and people loved him. And the way he at least the streets himself. did. Yeah, where the, the way he carried himself. You know what I mean? He just uh, he was always he talking was always g'd up. Yeah, he's always nice. g'd up. Ooh, he always had yeah. game for people. You know what I mean? And 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 he supported a lot of these people coming up. Yeah. What's crazy is I, I you know it's not crazy. It it shouldn't surprise me because of the way he rolled. No one ever really showed him disrespect. No. Nah. Like you never heard yeah. people like, cause Ice was well, Ice would work with like like gangsters. Like oh, he'd be yeah. at his right. studio, he'd let like gangsters come rap and be use the studio to make a song. Like he right. he's helped a lot of people out. That's what I mean about Ice T. He's not yeah. just a good artist, but he's put his hand out. He opens help doors for yeah, a lot of people, man. Cool. That came through the, the through the door came through him. You know what I mean? So he's always been that kind of guy. When he had that studio up in Hollywood, he used to let a lot of people go up oh, yeah. board. So with the Shark Tank, yeah. Cool. So he got love. The streets love Ice T, dog. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. And he is well deserved on his uh, star on the yeah, Hollywood Walk sure. yeah. of Fame. We now, celebrate. Now, can I get to hey. tell you? I saw you. I saw your Prophets of Rage show, and it was phenomenal. Oh really? Which way. one? Uh, downtown, and like oh. the what, whatever you know. Not was it Velasco. Yeah. Oh, the Velasco. That was our last, our last show. Actually. Oh God. It was it was fun. It was when, fun. when you guys do the, those shows, it's Chuck D and everybody. Yeah, right? it was it's everybody. Yeah, it was Woo. so good. It was so much fun. People were crazy too. Like so, it was just, it was just so fun. Yeah, it was a it was a great crowd that night. We didn't know it was going to be the last show, but <laughs> it was it was fun. It was uh, we had just come back, I think, from uh, from playing Jakarta. Cool. Mm. And uh, that was a cool show. It was a festival. It was uh, it was interesting. What you know? did you learn working with Chuck D? Because like we came up off him. Like yeah, you know, I was, I'm saying speaking of OGs that's, and that's, stuff he's like, like that. He's everything we yeah. thought he was and more. Really? Yes. I mean, the dude, it like, he's an intellectual. I was just gonna say he's a thinker. Yes, he's an artist. Like the cra that was one of the crazy things that I I did not realize is that you know when he when he was you know going to college and stuff he was an art student mm. and we'd be sitting there. Um, well, we wouldn't be sitting there. We'd be rehearsing, and he would be sitting there sketching us out. We didn't know what he was doing. Mm. We thought he was writing lyrics, and he just be, <laughs> boom, here it is. And he's got one of those um, photographic memories where he could be in, in the place and then be removed from it and totally That's recreate cool. it. Wow. And That's just cool. like... <laughs> I've seen like realize it. My man right here is a genius right here. And just him being a person... A very, very cool dude. Very direct too. Like he'll tell it's, you, it's, know. you. It's like it's more to him than just music. Basically, it's it's, yes. it's all a sh who he is, Chuck D. It's yes, yeah. it's who he is. Like everything he talks, he walks it like he talks it, mm. and that's and that's very rare <laughs> in our industry. For a lot of people, it's a gimmick. He's not. It's not. He's living his. You know what I mean? It's all hundred percent real. Mm. Yeah, I follow him on social media and stuff, and like, yeah, he's always posting interesting stuff and post a lot of his drawings and stuff like that but yeah he's really uh definitely seems like a thinker oh yeah when you look at his process on how his creativity comes like whether it's writing or the art it's it's something to see man i was like wow i mean you know how us, was that first show when you go up there in brock when he's Julio, next to you, next it was to you, when i look to my right <laughs> crazy. Oh my God. Uh, that's crazy <laughs> when, I, when i look to my right i could not believe that <laughs> chuck D was on <laughs> my <laughs> right <laughs> side yeah. dog. Like, i was like man. You know how to, you you yeah. know we as well up. as I do that, that we geeked off of Public Enemy. This was like one of our 
biggest influences yeah. and and people you know groups that we loved in hip hop. This right. is like my favorite group of all the, time. I was the enemy. I, I was the first one to play. <laughs> I was the first one to play Time Bomb from from Public Enemy yeah. on 1580K. That's right. That's yeah. how yeah. far you know yeah. I started from the beginning of that nice. first record. Yeah. But but that's why I say looking over. That must be crazy. Be real, that's Chuck D. Dude. It was crazy. Look, on two, on three levels, right? Level one, we created music together. So wow, I'm geeked that like I I got to make music with my idol right here. Right. Mm -hmm. And 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 the other guys, cause I respected and loved them oh, too. Yeah. Um, level two, I got to do Flavor Flav's parts yes. to Chuck. Oh, to Chuck. Woo! Right there on stage, and I was like, oh, man. Wow. Man, that's you know, crazy, bro. level three, I got to see him doing send dog parts. Yes. Wow, oh, to man. our stuff. Oh, that's wow. so, cool. so, the three levels of like, oh my god, I can't believe this is happening because I never thought this would happen. Okay, like, I met Chuck at the Penthouse Lounge. You remember that yeah. spot? Yeah, yeah. Met him there when we were just civilians. We were just barely doing demos. They they had their first single out. And we were all about them. And, you know, I approached him and I said, hey, Chuck, man, you know, on our block, we love you. You know, you're mm -hmm. everything to us, man. Hopefully one day we're doing what you do, but keep doing what you're doing. And he said to us, like, that we're standing there, like, hey, man, you guys keep at it. And maybe one day you will be doing it. And shook oh, yeah. our hands and... And he rolled off. And to 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 think that conversation happened, and I don't know how many years later that was, like twenty some odd years later. Boom! Damn. Here we are creating this music, so cool. and then getting on stage Crazy. and going around the world. I always, when I look to my right, I'm like, God damn! Every night I looked at, <laughs> I was like looking oh, at yeah. it like, Fuck, I'm with Chuck D. That's, That's crazy. Awesome. crazy. Well, oh, you speaking of Flavor Flav, so one of my prized, yeah, like prized possessions. Well, there's always a prize so, story with Flav. So, Flame. so uh, I had, um, I, I don't know, I wish I knew what happened to my Queen Latifah one, but do you remember back in the 90s? So when I was a VJ at MTV, you know, uh, I was there in like 91 and shit, and um so it was like the style, like those bigger, big kind of puffy jackets and stuff, and had like the silver sleeves, and it was like this great public enemy jacket had the logo on the back and everything and it was reversible or whatever. <laughs> so I'm walking down the street one day and I'm walking with my friend who used to do my clothes and stuff at MTV and we're walking and all of a sudden I see Flav and I'm like, Flav, what's up? You know, how you doing? And uh, he's like, oh, hey, how are you? Whatever. Da. And he sees that I'm wearing the public enemy jacket. He's like, ah, I got to autograph this for you. I'm like, <laughs> Hell yeah, you do. Wow. So then, uh, so we go in, I think we were in like a drugstore and I remember just kind of like leaning over and he signs it and um, and he's like, peace to the VJ, you know, <laughs> uh, like Flava Flav. And I, so I still have it and I have it like in this bag and everything. And it's funny because I was gonna uh, post a picture of it the other day because I was like, man, I freaking love this. this you know man, what I mean? That's, that's so and it's freaking Flav. Like, yeah. And so I, I love it. Like, I, it's one of the things that I have from, like, you know, working on, oh, which reminds me, from working uh, on stuff that I'm like, man, I'm so glad I have this. Uh, but it, it reminds me, wait, of something that I found the other day. Uh, I gotta show it to you. You're gonna laugh. Um, okay, wait. So, shoot, shoot. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm gonna find this for a second. I, you know, <laughs> but I I'll found what, something from us that, from a long time ago. My man Flav is one of them geniuses too, right? Absolutely. absolutely. This dude could play so many different instruments. Plays the drums. No. Um, Look what I found. Yeah. I wish I'd actually oh, brought wow. the thing. <laughs> hey, my signature has not changed that much. <laughs> uh, so I was going through some of my old wow. things or whatever, and I found this piece of That's paper crazy. from years and years ago where he had written down his number and stuff. And, you know, like from way back when, and I had obviously kept it. And I, I lived in it. Downey back then. How about <laughs> that? Wow. In a box wow. of stuff. And I was like, wow. oh, that's cool. I'm glad I still have that. That's Speaking crazy. of things that I kept that I, that I you know. And my and my signature hasn't changed. I still got the the small e and the capital A on the loop. Uh, nice. There you go. Mm, which Bobo says is never present, <laughs> and it always is. But yeah, damn, I lived in Downey back Downey. then. That's crazy. Yeah, Dang. that was a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know what, Bira? I've always wanted to ask Chuck D. I don't know if he ever spoke to you about this. Um, I always wanted to ask him, like, where, when does he think they they start to try to slow them down? Where it's like these guys have gotten too big, and the message is just, you know what I mean? It's impact, because you got to remember at that time he he basically was waking 
the hood up to yeah. like way more stuff that at that age of our lives. So it made our generation a little more awake of, of the hustle. Right. You know Can't I mean? trust it was on, like I right. played that video all day and all night when I was on MTV. Can't trust yeah. it. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you a story. So 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 Can't trust so, it. so we we had we had started playing Time Bomb and then we started then then um they weren't really taken off on that first album. I'm no. be honest with mm-hmm. you. No, it was it, it was, was low. It was, it was slow, underground. You remember that C minus yep. at that time? They would they didn't have like oh they just blew up. No. So a Time Bomb came. I played it. We have gave it some love, but it didn't catch on. Then. They tried a second single that didn't really do that good either. Was that Public but it was, Enemy number one? I think yeah. might have been that one, right? But that third one, they put Rebel Without a Pause. Rebel, Rebel Without a yeah. Pause. Yes. And, and, and the I Rhythm, remember, the Rebel. I remember the day we played that, and then they were like, <laughs> you got to bring the record back up here because we got we to gotta put it on the air because it got so many calls. But from there on, it took off. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm just saying at the era of that time, they they woke a lot of that generation I, up. Yeah. Yo, gee. I, I think when... When the industry realized that they were, you know, that Chuck was for real is when they started trying to slow him down. If if they had thought that Public Enemy was just a gimmick and eventually it would go away, they wouldn't have been trying to derail it. They would have just let it go go its course and then it would fade. But, like, they realized he was on some real shit. Yeah. Yeah, man. And, and whenever the, someone and is... loved it. And whenever someone is having that kind of impact... And you're you're educating people with with something that <laughs> the powers mm-hmm. that be want people dumbed down on. Yeah, they're gonna try to slow your roll. Ban some books. Yeah, Yo, gee, I was thinking about um, Rebel with, Without a Pause. Mm-hmm. Like it was a message song, you know, and dropping gems and everything. But it was still a club banging. It was still a club banging. Yeah. Right, club. Right. Oh, for sure, that for sure. Bam, bam, bam. That's what I'm saying. They, they, they got them. They got them. That was the record that got them. You know what I mean? And from then on, then from then, from then on, they dropped. Don't believe the hype right oh, after that, oh, and then it just it's blew, over. It blew I think, after that. I think well, Chuck probably has I, one of the most unique rap styles of any of any uh, front man for sure. or rapper that ever did it. And the most commanding voice, him, him, and yeah. him and KRS one. I mean, he he yeah. comes from the radio world, so yeah. so he yeah. comes from yeah. This is Chuck D. Yeah, I'm he KRS knew he, he knew how to project in a way that resonated. That's mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah. And those beats, Bomb Squad did. Oh Crazy. God, I remember going to see Public Enemy and just being blown away. Yeah, you know what I mean, and with everything and the whole squad and everybody. <laughs> Terminator. S one W. Oh my God, yeah. the S one W. Professor Security. Griff. Woo! Yes, the so whole energy good, of right? it. All of it. I re- I remember seeing them at uh, what was it? Was it the Palladium? I saw. Them, I saw the Palace with with uh, Black Sheep uh, opening up. I think. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, so the first time they came to L.A. after, like I told you, 1580K, they played at Skateland. And you know that's like all bloods right Yeah, now, right? I wasn't there that day. So I, when, Normally I would have been. You know this. So when they came out, like <laughs> what you said about the S1Ws, um, they marched out with the S1Ws, and like the crowd was like, man, what is this? Like, <laughs> nobody was prepared for what they watched. But we were like on the side watching, and it was like, Wow, this is like because right. you know back then you only had the records and the picture. You didn't have like the video, and you didn't yeah. even know what these dudes were, who they were. You know, you don't know who's showing up. You know what I mean? But yeah. this was like just exactly with the with the militant thing and the whole. It was a whole presentation. We were like, wow, bro, this Skateland USA, mind you, and this is the eighties. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's a yeah. lot of gangsters, and there's it was Bloods that that was their yeah. spot. So it was like Bloods, but they were just like, oh my, there God. it is, like what. I was there when um you guys uh hosted um Salt and Pepper. Mm. Wow. I was one of them guys in red in there. Mm. Wow. I was one of them guys in red in there, blot. <laughs> so just for people to know about some hip hop history in LA, so fifteen eighty K Day, we would have to do the dances. That fifteen eighty You guys K-Day, had to do World on Wheels we and Skate Land. We had to do World on Wheels for the Crips and oh. we had to do Skate Land for the Bloods. <laughs> And it had to be treacherous. Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. It was. It was crazy. I used to live over. It was World crazy. Yeah, yeah, so it was crazy. But it was. Uh, it was a lot of fun, and we did a lot of, a lot of, brought a lot of groups out from New York. I would have to sneak into those shows and like be very low key, because if I had got caught up in their World on Wheels, Julio. <laughs> oh no, you've been done. I was done. Done, bro. Oh, oh my God! How about there was a sixty-year-old oh, no. man that did three thousand consecutive push-ups. Man, Woo. yeah, man. That's crazy. I, I don't know how. Like, how do you? <laughs> how do you do that? <laughs> how do you do that? Wow. I don't know. That, I find that a little hard to believe. I mean, I, I, okay, look, a hundred. What I could see. 
maybe even a thousand, but three thousand. How, how I, I got to yeah. see how those push ups look. How, right, yeah. exactly. How do, are those are old man ass push ups where you're just. Or is he going, you know. Little ones, baby ones. They got to be baby ones, right? <laughs> I mean, he's just based, yeah, yeah. Because I don't see no one doing. He says during his uh, wor- daily workouts, he can do about 1,500 push ups in 30 minutes. Mm. Get the fuck out. I got to see this. What? Is there any God. video? That's horrible. Come on, show us a video. Didn't Herschel Walker used to do thousands of pushups a day too, or something? Okay, he's ripped right, at sixty. Okay, all right. But I want to see the, yeah. the, the the style of pushups. Like, d- is it not. is there a real technique there? Or are you just like <laughs> doing the like one inch push? What if he's doing the dips? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, like you're doing the one the one inch push up. Right. Like, does that count? I don't know. Shop. Is it just like a yeah a certain amount of bending? Hey, show the picture yeah. of him again. I want to see this guy's. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, oh. oh. Come on. That's Hey, babe. Ah, he's going no, in. He's, he's going in. Though. 1500. He was moving his chest, not he? his arm. Like, hey, uh, he's going well, in. All right. Okay. okay. Well, uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's I mean, 60. Th- listen, even to do that for 3,000 times, that's not easy right there. Nah. No, no, yeah. for sure. No, I mean, no, no, there's motherfuckers that be gassed off of like 20 right, of those. For real. <laughs> 10. So he just keeps doing them in sets of 10 or something or 20? Oh, okay. So he, okay, he's what, doing them two, in inter- three, intervals. Four, five. Yeah, he just keeps doing them in intervals. Oh, okay. Then yeah. they time. Yeah, that's, that's, that's see, his, his, form, his form that looked good. Sense. That's more believable. His yeah. form looked good sped up. <laughs> yeah. So yeah you, got, you got to get up, it. stretch a little bit, and then come back and fresh a little fresher. Nine, boom, boom. 10, 11, 12. Dude. Yeah, sets of 12. Huh. He's killing it. Killing Brutal. It. He's in fucking good shape. Hey, but, he's, 60. but he's sixty years old, huh? Good for him. Sign yeah. up for All right, so let me ask God. this: How many squat can? How many uh-huh. squats can his skinny ass legs be doing? Like, <laughs> I can do a lot of squats. We'll see. Oh, man. I can do a lot of squats. That's a whole nother show. <laughs> he skipped leg day because you know he had to focus. <laughs> he's in, uh, I'm all torso, bro. <laughs> I'm all torso. Just, you know, yeah, man, he's in good shape, man. Oh, he is. Oh my God. Uh, hell yeah. For my upper strength. Good for him, that's man. Dope. That's <laughs> hard to do at the age. 3,000 at 60, yeah. bro. That's a lot. Well, when you see, yeah, see, like, see, he didn't do them consecutive. He did the yeah, 12. Yeah, mm-hmm. pause, that's still hard, then, though. That's still hard. <laughs> yeah, like a <laughs> Like, cool. I think it's easier. <laughs> yeah, hey, how it. long did it take him to do that? So hard. <laughs> Bolton. Um, well, he can do 1,500 in 30 minutes. And Ooh. he did 3,000. So And his, uh, he's at... 3,182, and he says he's going to try to beat over 3,200. So he'll go. What? Yeah, right. Is there a reason oh, for that? Yeah, why? Why? I mean, we already know you could do a lot. Right. It's that record, B. It's about yeah, right. the goat. Guinness. <laughs> congrats <laughs> to him. Hey, congrats no. to him at 60. If, nah, that's, yeah, yeah. if that's his push, nah, for right. Sure. Right. Right. that's what right. I'm Word up. Yeah. It is now that time. Let's do it. What time is it? If you need another one. Thank time to get ill. All right, we got a bunch of good ones today. Yesterday we were talking about In and Out and What a Burger. We got hosts way up in here saying In and Out over What a Burger. Ooh. Bring it. Ooh. I've never been to What a Burger. What is that? Everybody loves What a Burger. I can't fade What a Burger. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm, I don't know, man. I haven't. Well, it's not in our state. And yeah. I haven't bothered to try it. It try it in any other state. But I've done, it, I've done it in Texas a I'm, few times. I'm gonna try it. People who t- who like what like Whataburger love Whataburger. They do. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, they like, do. Yeah, for I sure. feel like people are like, oh man, you gotta have In and Out. But the people who are all about Whataburger are like hardcore into it. Yeah. True that. That's true. I mean, I've seen a lot of shit on had, it. What, what, right? What's on that shit? Like, what, what we got here? Like, <laughs> I'm going in cheese. and out. Man. Well, like yeah. a yeah. hey, in and out. Burger? Oh they got, the the out. one thing I noticed about this Whataburger, though, is that they got thick pickles. Okay. Yeah. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. It depends if you like pickles, I guess. I thought uh, they had that. But, again. but this in is in and out right here. Oh, that's, that's in and out. Yeah, because he's saying in and out over Whataburger. Oh, I see. Is that a four by four? Yeah, I was just gonna say that's not a regular one. Yeah. That's a four by. Animal stuff. Wow. Number. That's no Bart's with all the shit on the bottom. All right. Cool. Look at that. Oh my. All Toppings right. on the bottom. Toppings oh, well, on the bottom. Go. On it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got Ryan H up in here saying my fiance makes the best hot dogs. When Australian football starts, the dinners start to change. Oh my god. 
Oh, that's oh cool. God. Those look kind of. I hope you're working tasty. the fuck out the next day <laughs> or the same night or something, cause ah man, you gotta <laughs> enjoy. Those look life. good, man. Yeah, enjoy yeah. life. But enjoy your hot dogs, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. Don't worry about it. You'll be all right. Extra must. You'll be yo. all right. <laughs> yeah. They're Extra like, must. You'll be all right. All right. They look really good. <laughs> they look good, they bro. Do. They look great. Yeah, they do. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> like and we got Utah Hawk up in here saying I had to stop by and grab the KFC Double Down as soon as I got oh, off work the, the, What is that? He's saying it's two oh. extra crispy chicken sandwiches With two pieces of bacon, uh, cheese, and spicy sauce God. It's like a chicken sandwich as the, Like they're the buns the chicken. It, it, Oh on, yes man. please I can't do it, it looks like a squirrel Come on, come on. Fried squirrel. Give me that this, <laughs> Oh no come on It's not that attractive no. Come on Hawk not, Come on Hawk that's a, a, hey, that's a lot of <laughs> In the, in the words of Ice Cube, that's a lot of cholesterol. Come on, bro. Hey, that's cholesterol. Hey, yo, oh, this bro. is iced tea. Yeah. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo, this is iced tea. Check your cholesterol, man. Hey, man, that, looks, that looks horrifying, but that looks I crazy. would try it. <laughs> You'd go for it. I was going to try it. He said, I would, I would give it a go. Hell yeah. No. I can't do it. I'm, I'm telling you how long it's been since I've been there. It, I've, I didn't know they were even doing it's, shit like that. It's way too far. Yo, check it. The last time I ate KFC, I'm going to tell you, the last time I ate KFC, I was in Japan. They they bought this little chicken. Yo, I bit into it. The oil was like, <laughs> oh, oh, it squirted in everywhere. Your face, and that yo, was it. And that was it for me. That was it. I, I yeah. think I even spit it out. I was like, yo, what the fuck? I, I, is can't, this? Like, I can't blame you, Papa. That is not good. <laughs> I've been pescatarian and, for a few years now, man. I don't miss that. Yeah. yeah. You know? I don't blame Come you. Come on. I don't blame you. Yeah. KFC. <laughs> Take chances. Yeah. Hawk. We got Mile High Hector up in here saying, been smoking for 30 years or so, and I consider myself a veteran smoker. Stopped by the local dispensary and picked up some RSO, some activated oil. Oh. I put the entire syringe into two capsules and popped them both oh around 7 p.m. Oh, oh, He's saying, oh by 11 p.m., I go to bed and not feeling much, but around 2 a.m., it wakes me up out of my bed, and I'm dead as my bed of a dead sleep. Mm. And I feel like I'm in the portal, and I feel like I'm on mushrooms. He's wow. seeing I'm seeing all kinds of colors, and my head wow. is spinning. See, wow. listen, wow. listen, you only needed to pop the one, but yes, <laughs> I've been on that mission, and uh, that's what put me on the floor. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, truth. Damn, look at that. That's truth. Um, he's very ambitious with taking those two. I... Um, oh. That's Even just, taking the taking one. That says THC sixty nine point nine four. Yeah, that means he went for the you ride up Julio. there, bro. He went yeah, for the baby. elevation. Oh, for sure. Look, um, and that's raw THC, bro. Look, woo. Um, you don't got to take the two capsules. Just take the one. One. Just and save the other one. One for breakfast. Because let me tell you what, the one <laughs> would have had you feeling similar anyway. Because I mean, once you're once you're in that. That first capsule, if if you're if you're filling it all the way up, you are in for the ride. Mm -hmm. Um, I was, I did that the other day, last week. I I, but I made the mistake of taking my RSO at like nine ten o'clock. It hit me out of my sleep at three in the morning. Mm. When I woke up at seven for the rest, I was Whisted. hammered. Oh my god! Wow. Before Whisted. I got here. I, you know, and I really? usually I I'll <laughs> oh my God. and usually I'll smoke before I get here. I'll smoke when I get here. I'll smoke before we do this, as you guys all know. And that day, nah, I was not smoking <laughs> nothing until we started. You were good, huh? Oh my God! <laughs> wow. wow. And that that's was like, from the one cap all the way filled and up. And that's a wow. different trip when you wake up high. And have to <laughs> yeah. continue your no. Yeah. Yeah. It's a different yeah. trip when it wakes I, you up. Yeah. Wow. You feel it. Like it's like something just jumped into your body. <laughs> That's like your ass up. Weed, po weed oh possession. THC oh, has you gonna taken enjoy this high. <laughs> THC has taken yeah. possession yeah, of your body. Do. Yeah, you you call me. It's you that, you call, yeah, you that call drive, me. That drive when you get that cotton mouth. You call me. Oh yeah, that too. You get less. that cotton mouth. You that too less. Up. No, no. Oh, Check God. this out. You wake up with the cotton mouth. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like bad. Hate that. Oh man, let me tell you what. The last time I did it, that I did it off the cycle, because you do it at early, like the guy said, at seven. Okay. Six, seven o'clock. So it hits you. So you're asleep by this time and you'll just go back to sleep. He fought it. He should have just stood right in bed. Yeah. Right? 
um, he wouldn't have got the head spin. Um, but like I, I took it off time. So I had to like wake up with that and I had the dry mouth uh, and I could, I, I was like, I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to come here. That's the worst. I was like, I'm going to lay in my bed. <laughs> ride this out. And I'm going to ride this shit out. <laughs> but then I realized I can't do that. <laughs> I got to so, get my so ass off. take up. caution if you're going to use it, though, <laughs> yes. huh? Take oh. caution. Take it early. <laughs> take, take it early? Take it, take it and, around and, 5 or 6 <laughs> o'clock so it, when it hits you, it's around 11 or 12. Because mm. it's really for sleep you want it to hit. Oh, okay. Yeah, Unless okay. you want that recreational fade. <laughs> You know, but I would suggest then you take it early because, you know, if you take it nine, ten o'clock, you ain't feeling it till three. So two, three o'clock, you ain't feeling it. So if you uh, take it, I can't mess with that. No, thanks. Me personally, I I can't mess with that because. What were you going to say, C? 6 a.m. to feel it at noon. Yeah. (laughs) 6 a.m. to feel it at noon. Wow. And. If it hits you real heavy at noon, you're gonna want to take that nap. If you fight, against, <laughs> if you fight against it, it is the worst. It's like you might as well just be fighting Mike Tyson. What if you, or John what Jones? If, what if you're on the highway, like in, tra- oh, no. in traffic? Pull the fuck over. Pull over. <laughs> Pull over. Pull <laughs> over. Trust. You don't want that. You don't want to be thinking about having to do anything. Trust. So RSO, if you're gonna take the full cap, like my bro over here, don't take. Two, don't follow that. Um, take the one. Start with one. <laughs> and, 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 and let it hit you when it's supposed to, um, late night as opposed to early in the motherfucking morning. All right? Next one. We got Melody Black up in here saying, looky, looky, look what I just scored. Got them oh, Cypress Hill so tickets. Nice. Woo-wee. Well, all right. <sighs> Mission Ballroom. Dev- oh, that's oh, you the- guys are doing Black Sunday, huh? Yeah, the Symphony Show. Oh, wow. This is with the, with the Symphony. We're doing it. Wow. You're doing the whole album? Doing the whole that's gonna be dope. Nice. That's gonna be. We're gonna dope. do some extras too, but like, yeah, it's it's based off the it's. I, I believe it's a uh, uh, on thirty year anniversary. Damn, actually. that's wow. hard, bro. Wow. With the symphony, we you, guys, you guys gonna film that? We might wear suits. Yeah, I think we're gonna film it. <laughs> you gotta film that, man. Oh, Tuxedos. Yeah. That's yeah. great, oh, yeah. man. Like conductor style. Nice. Yeah, I love. We'll it. Wear a long white wig. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> hey, put a cape on. That's yeah, you, that's, how you, that's how you gonna like opera me. man. <laughs> that's hard, man. I think that's that's really dope. Oh. All right, <laughs> and we got one happy mom up in here saying, "When Snoop Dogg turns sixty, he will be four twenty in dog years." Oh. <laughs> wow, that's nice. pretty good. That's pretty good. That's I like great. That. That's pretty good. Oh that's great. my god, that's great. That's good math, right? That there. That is. <laughs> Who would ever thought? And someone figured that out. Smart. For Snoop Dogg. Excellent. <laughs> it is excellent. All right. And we got Christian up in here saying AEW ran their first Bay Area shows last week at mm. the Cow Palace. My brother and I snuck into ringside and got a picture with Dustin Rhodes and formerly known as Gold Dust. Oh, Gold yeah. Dust. Yeah. Legendary right Dustin there. Dustin Rhodes is OG. His father was a o- OG, a double OG. Yeah. Or you could say triple. <laughs> I think yeah. his son is now wrestling. Wrestling. Mm. You don't put the G in wrestling. Wrestling. <laughs> wrestling. wrestling. <laughs> yeah. They're G's, that but you don't put the G. That was, right. du- that was Dusty Rhodes' son? That's Dusty Rhodes' son. Mm. Yeah. And, and now Dustin, who is Dustin, the son of Dusty, oh, wow. has, a, has a son that's also wrestling. Yeah. Oh, in, wow. in one of the in one of the I still love Dusty Rhodes' companies. Dustin that's old school. Fine. Related to Dust from Bart's. Barbie related to <laughs> yeah dusty <laughs> that's right mr Bucks. dusty and we got karina up in here saying next stop is vancouver with the funko oh, so yeah well, all right yeah. do we got a show there is that what's going on no she's uh doing a little setup all right doing cool. a little setting up for a little <laughs> yeah, dental like... convention i believe oh nice. all right great yeah. dumb nice he looks like he's just chilling right in there be safe Verena. And Brina's saying, not sure what happens in the washrooms here, but if you have to be told not to drink the toilet water, you got problems. Mm. Yeah. Holy shit, dude. I mean, why would you have to put a sign up that says don't drink the toilet water? Yeah, let's not. (laughs) This water is not for consumption. No, it's not. That means somebody sued them at one point. 
because they drank the toilet water yeah. Yeah. and got sick. Yeah. And yeah. now yeah. we have to see up. a sticker <laughs> next to the toilet that's, telling you something. That's absolutely right. <laughs> that's that's right. exactly what Can you happened. imagine the person arguing that? <laughs> there is no sign that says that the consumption of the water from the toilet is not safe. So, and I'm thirsty. And I was thirsty. <laughs> yeah. Therefore, oh, man. Hey. it's the closest you source of water. You didn't warn me I'd get sick. I seen, I seen dogs drinking out of yeah, toilet. So come on. Like, I was, water is fresh water. Right, time you right. Fresh, I, was like, I was beyond uh, parched. Yeah. Little, 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 little sprinkles in there. Yuck. Right, you know? I'm not buying any <laughs> Next. Super parched. <laughs> We got Ant up in here with a little bit of AI art. Ooh, what up, Ant? Oh, okay. It's very creative. Cool. We see a lot of this this AI art here, but it's very dark. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that oh, apocalyptic? AI is they getting got, really interesting, man, because I've seen nice some things out there that oh, have just been mind-blowing. Like the chatbot stuff or what? Yeah. Uh, just that. I've seen the, the guy when he was rapping like Kendrick Lamar. He sounded yeah. just, it was, hey, did that blew my mind, bro. Oh, yeah. the was, AI rapper So guy? I was telling myself, I'm like, I'm going to make the hardest drops. Like, I'm gonna, this is Marvin Gaye. Yeah. I'm with Julio G, you know what I mean? Because uh, I could yeah. just copy the voice, you know what I mean? And so, you could write, you could have that shit write your songs for right. you now. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's doing, there's there's already some songs out there that are just made by AI. Yeah. So, so That's kind of corny, though, to have an AI crazy. shout out. I, I no, mean, me I'm personally saying, as a DJ, I wouldn't have like Biggie no. like, hey, I'm the psycho less, baby, baby. <laughs> that is corny. Yeah. Like, if you didn't like, have it, on, like, I'm if, not even playing with this. This ain't horrible. a joke. No, for real. Like, like, if why you, would I play that? Yeah. If you didn't have it for real, yeah, yeah. you should not of play. Course. Yeah, but yes. I'm just saying. I respect. I'm the, just saying. That's I'm just how saying. Much respect I have for him. Yeah, you know? I'm just saying that it allows you to do shit. It like, does. That's what I'm saying. It it's does. Like you can just re. I don't want to have Marvin Gaye saying something at the club because I want to do a breakdown. Yeah. You have Marvin Gaye's voice doing that. It. Shit is the 3D that, printer of audio. That's yeah, crazy. It's crazy. Dude, that, that was it's a mind crazy. Blower. That's kind of crazy. I saw uh, a clip of David Guetta. He was playing some uh, some club and he used AI, uh, the AI thing to do a, a, a voice in Eminem's voice. A transition. A with transition. Eminem, yeah. Right? And it sounded like Eminem had said this thing, and yeah. it w wasn't him. It was just the AI. But it like <laughs> it, it blew up, though. Blew up. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, but Eminem's Proud. alive, you know. So it's right. like that's you so. Know, they, that's cool. Somebody can do that with you. They could do it with any of us. But any the scary part is like, what if somebody gets your voice and you think sure. and call and write you it, and write and, a hit? That's what I'm no. saying. They can make like a hit rap song. No, I'm just saying somebody gets your voice and and calls other people and they, they think they're talking to oh. me and now they could disguise this situation. That's yeah. why I, guess I say AI is yeah. getting very tricky. Yeah, yeah. they actually right just the did game. that with uh, Joe Biden's voice, um, saying we're going to be going to war with Russia, and it actually looked For and real. sounded, sounded legit. Right? Yeah, it's legit, oh. bro. I'm telling you, that's, AI is crazy, man. That's like the deep, deep fake, right? <laughs> that's oh yeah, yeah, yeah deep. Fakes are scary. And the hey. fact that you could do shit like that, I mean, the, <laughs> it's crazy. The havoc that could be had from that. Yes. All right. And we got Lord Nikon up in here rocking some joints. All right. Ooh, that's dope. Okay. Nice. Oh, that's nice. That's ready cool. for battle. True. That's very cool. He's ready to light it up. Uh, we'll fire it up. <laughs> that's tight, man. I like mm -hmm. that. And we got Donnie up in here saying one of my favorite funkies. Yeah. That's a pretty straight Ooh. joint right there. He didn't even ask for a rating, but it looks good. Looks cool. Except I, for that, except for the very top. That's a dope funky field tip too. Huh? Yeah, that's a dope Cypress Hill funky right there. Oh, Cypress Beautiful. Hill funky field tip. Mm -hmm. okay. Nice. Beautiful. Good job. And let's see, we got uh, this one sent in, and it says. Who needs a hair transplant when you can get a haircut? Oh, that's oh. Oh this is crazy. That's a or when you can get a hair tattoo. Oh, oh my God. God. I could see Bolton doing this. No, no, no. <laughs> With red hair. Oh, please. <laughs> like he dyed his hair red. <laughs> <laughs> his mom red would tent. kill him. Give me 20 he's years. Been, <laughs> he's been in the sun a bit. Hey, yo, B, why does your hair look like feathers? <laughs> the perfect <laughs> length forever. That's not it. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's not it? <laughs> Bedhead. Sorry. Oh, this. That's crazy. Bedhead. You'll never have bedhead. Oh it's always God. just there. Permanent bedhead. <laughs> you'll have. A, you'll always have a good fade. <laughs> <laughs> always lined up perfectly. <laughs> tight. You got it. You got a tight your fade, shit man. Always tight, man. Like it's always Every tight, day, man. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what the weather is, your shit tight, <laughs> man. <laughs> when the gas prices get a little too high. Oh, oh shit. Oh. oh man. <laughs> <laughs> 
bobsled. So we, uh, in college, we used to have chariot races, we would call them, uh, when you would take the shopping cart and just race them down, you know, the hill oh, wow. uh, and stuff like that. So, yeah, we, we th- that's a, not what we, we didn't do it with dogs. How many times did you wipe out? <laughs> I never participated actively, but it's like the type of thing where you kind of bet on who oh. would win and that type of thing. Like, oh, wow. um, but yeah, they called them chariot races. And damn, you know. that's crazy. You must have yeah. seen a lot of wipeouts. Oh, for though. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chariot races. Damn, it's mm. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. That's a, you know that's almost like ice blocking when people go up mm-hmm. to the cemeteries on the block of ice or the hills and they slide down on the blocks of ice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You never heard that before here. Ice blocking. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Uh-uh. Yeah. Kids used to do it here. They would go like a lot of cemeteries because they got hills, so okay. they'll just start at the top and slide down on blocks of ice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sounds fun. They would race down. Some would wipe out. People used to go cow tipping back east. Yeah. <laughs> Poor cows. I know. <laughs> I know. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And we got a little bit of the ring cosplay. Oh, this is cool. That's awesome, by the way. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. That's pretty fucking crazy. <laughs> that's Comic Con well like, uh, champion. That is no. cool. That's cool. No, man. thank you. That's really, really good. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, so All right, good. I'm well, out. Dog. That's so good. That's funny. That is cool. That's very creative. Very. That is. Best thing I've seen. Yeah, that's really good. I'm done with that. That's really cool. Yeah. And we got uh, this one sent in. Um, random kid asking me to film him. <laughs> Rando kid. Uh oh, I'm nervous. Sounds like a. Yeah. <laughs> that's <Okay>. right. <laughs> <laughs> kid. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice kid. Oh, man. Kids well, going places. Okay. He's going places. Hey, did you guys, did I, you hear about this TikTok thing that happened where these kids are doing like the Kool Aid challenge? No. Where they're running through like um. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> they're oh, running no. through these what? plastic fences. Like, hey, Kool Aid. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. This dude was on the news. Like his whole yard. He had like that that what do they they call it a linoleum type of vinyl uh, fence. yeah the vinyl fences okay. sorry vinyl fences and these kids like just came and slammed through his fence and then broke out and then you see one more or two more come and do the other side of his yard doing the challenge oh, no. wow. and it's to break wow. through the fence like kool-aid, like Kool-Aid. Like back in the day. yeah <laughs> wow kool-aid oh, yeah. hey kool-aid yeah. <laughs> hey oh, yeah. kool-aid what was it oh yeah oh yeah, oh, yeah. They go, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. that was his catchphrase <laughs> boom busting your living room and shit like yeah. yeah all the yep. kids all the kids would yell his name and then he'd respond totally. oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah cool man I remember mixing up Kool-Aid. He was a very destructive Kool-Aid jug, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He was out. Yeah, he's out there for blood. He was. <laughs> yeah. A little aggressive. I mean, Kool-Aid's still around, though, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, for sure. A little ice. Sugarless little and sugary. Mm-hmm. But there's the a newer challenge going on right now, the Kool-Aid challenge. That's what we were just is talking that, about. Is that, is that it, though? You got to run through the walls? Yeah. Um, there was there was videos of it. On- <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, come on. Oh, there, there, there was videos. Oh, of- <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, that was Why? like a piece of paper or something. <laughs> what? <sighs> Yeah, He's here comes Kool Aid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's like that's like through a door. That's drywall. Drywall. That's drywall. Yeah, yeah. Drywall. Drywall. Or maybe it looked. I don't know. They look like wood. It all right there. Right. That must have hurt. Seen it all. Yeah. Yeah. No, but these uh, these kids uh, did it through the vinyl the vinyl fencing. Oh my god. Like it's that it's like that white grayish type <laughs> so fencing you dumb. see people have. It's kind of shiny. Looks new. Mm-hmm. It's easy to bust through apparently because these kids <laughs> just went right through it. Dude, it was on uh, KTLA this morning. That it was hilarious. <laughs> so All these poor kids. guy. Now he has to go get new pieces of vinyl. Oh, uh, man. vinyl. <laughs> oh god! These crazy kids. These He's crazy like, kids. This damn TikTok. God damn this With their TikTok. TikToks in there. <laughs> this is, man, they're. they're psh- they're gonna fuck around and get banned out here. I was here just gonna say that, we might not have it. TikTok. Yeah. Hey, did you see that there's that report that about TikTok that like the government is like looking to uh talk off on rent. <laughs> that they're looking to ban TikTok from all government officials' yeah. phones. Yeah. Like, yeah, it already yeah, is banned. They did I it. Think, yeah, from they, their did phones. It. they did it last week or something. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. 
<clears throat> they're thinking of banning it nationwide. Look, this was this was the. Oh, oh my it, God! Oh, is that oh, no. run, run, it, run it back? Oh, bro! Oh, no. oh that bro. sucks! Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that sucks! Wow! The kids are hilarious. Dude. Dude. Oh my god! Oh, so the homeowner wasn't in on it. No, <laughs> he, he the homeowner. Oh, no, the homeowner's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Oh my I just god. got this fence. What the fuck? That's horrible. TikTok. That Hello. Sucks. Man, that damn TikTok. TikTok yeah. strikes again. Not, not for nothing, but I, I think I would try that. Dude, you would try that? Yeah. Bring it. A couple okay. more shots well, of uh, Jamie tequila. and Tequila. All right. Oh, tequila. <laughs> All right. All right. What else you got? We got a little dog versus a rat. Uh-oh. Oh, Uh-oh. 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 dachshund. Look at the dog. He's like, come over here, dude. I got you. What? Oh! oh. Kung Fu uh-huh. rat. <laughs> oh, no. The, the, the rat was doggy. trying to live. Yeah, the dog. Like, get, get off me. Got some skills. Get off yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, rats got that forward yeah. movement. Wow. Aggressive. Dude, I like dog. it. Ooh. Come here. Rat food. Dog, dog, you're a stupid rat. Come oh, here. Oh. Hot dog don't want to. Don't want. The hot dog don't want none. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-uh. He he got, hot dog got no mustard, son. <laughs> no. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh, Our, my God. Word up. <laughs> Damn. Thank you for your submissions. Keep them coming to b <laughs> TV contests at gmail.com. Don't forget, we got a mix after this on Twitch. Yep. B underscore Real TV is the place. On Twitch, Psycho Less and myself are going to pop it off on the Ooh. turntable. So join us. Yep. And uh, if you haven't smashed that like yet, please do so. <laughs> Subscribe if you're not subscribing. Each one, teach one, tell a friend, share it out, crack the all notification bell so you can get down with the content we drop. Our smoke boxes are coming back in April. We filmed a great one today. I can't even smoke. tell you who it is. Smoke. But it's going to be real good. Um, So they, they air in April on Sundays. Make smoke sure you uh, put that on your list of to-dos. All right. Um, TSA found a cat in carry-on luggage. No. <laughs> At an airport in Virginia. What? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Somebody just let we it go know. We know. They forgot. Right. They forgot. <laughs> we know. We know the story. Oh uh-huh, yeah, right. Yeah, Is that they, where the cat was? We forgot. We forgot. Yeah. Oh my fucking cat. Oh, That's right. We went. I, just, I, th- I was wondering where my fucking cat went. I've been looking for this oh. <laughs> Yo, how do you just for real quick like? Mm, That's so wrong. <laughs> like wow. really, bro? Let's just he see. put his cat. So in his wrong. carry-on. So oh. cat, yo, the oh cat looks oh pissed off, too. Look at <laughs> Yeah, he does. Morris. Like, like, this like, this like, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> mother- oh, <laughs> mother- Morris. Yeah, you're right. What oh kind of motherfucker God, puts through. their cat? He also looks slightly sedated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. He had some catnip in there. <laughs> yeah, he hit him wow. with some CBD. Because his tongue is out a little bit, you know what I mean? That's terrible. Some CBD, some CBD infused. Use cat hit. <laughs> out. He's out <laughs> twice. Yeah, he's goofy oh, and out. Yeah. Like, you know what? I'm gonna bring my cat. I don't gotta <laughs> oh, man, check him should, in. I'm gonna be check honest, him in. Honestly, he should get charged oh, for that. The cat. Hell yeah, that's animal and Yeah, that's that's, that's, that's not like, cool. No, he should get charged cool something for that, man. Right yeah, because yeah. he that's, purposely the cat did the, the cat did sneak in the no, bag. Bro, that's no. terrible. You <laughs> no. did that. No. No, no man. That's no. Cat was you should be charged, sir. Yo. They should be taking that cat from that. Kill him. Straight that up. Dude. Kill him. I don't know about kill him, but, <laughs> yeah. but take the cat from him for sure, son. <laughs> take the animal abuse, man. Oh, dude, yeah. that was the best. Yeah. Let's, like, kill him. Punishment by death. Yeah. <laughs> Split his throat. That's what the cat's saying. Kill him. <laughs> He's like, fuck this guy. He stuffed me in a case. <laughs> God, that's, so, that's so crappy. <laughs> yeah. Like, that I mean, why not just bring him in a regular ass cat okay, case? Right. They allow that. Say, you can't bring a cage. You can't get a funky ass cage for me, man. <laughs> <laughs> a little, and, and then, like, uh, I don't. For real. Stuff yeah. in your Bro, shit. Like, me yeah. Someone yeah. too cheap. Right. What yeah, you pay. <laughs> How else does he you treat the cat? You trying to pay an extra twenty five dollars? Right. Mm. Oh, really? oh, man, mm. I Although I, I will say it is, it is, it is more than twenty five dollars. Yeah. No. Yeah. They do kind of like. It's way too much. They price gouge you yeah, for that. Yeah, they, hood, they definitely hood, do. Hood trafficking. For sure. To bring an animal on. Yeah, because yeah, it's almost like you got to buy the seat for the animal for to put it next for real. to you. 
Yep. Because you can't just put it down. You can't put it in the left. Yeah. In the ca- right. That's why people. <laughs> the yeah. It's like you can put it under your seat, but like that's why people are trying to sneak them in. It's because oh, they yeah. totally. It's not cool how much they charge you. Why not just put them in your backpack, man? Like you know, you put a gun there. Why not a cat? <laughs> right. Uh, Makes sense. So what if they had like a whole airline where you could just fly with your animals, right? Like be it would cool. be like a seat and then like a hook for like the kennel and then a seat hmm. and a hook for a kennel or something. And like people could just like <laughs> <laughs> fly like, but you know what I mean? You just buy tickets on like the animal airline or whatever. Yeah, just cool. be like whatever. Like it's going to be barky. It's going to be loud. Is it that, but whatever. But like, isn't that spirit then, airlines? Because <laughs> oh, <laughs> then you wouldn't, <laughs> then you wouldn't uh, be worried that your kid, you know your that your stuff's underneath. No, absolutely, <laughs> you have them right there with you. I don't know. Oh. They, they, they could. Spirit. <laughs> Spirit. It's true. It's gonna be no, a like noise, noisy true. ass flight. That's right, right. But oh, when the, all the dogs that. start going off. Oh, that's the thing. They'd all start oh, going man. like crazy. Oh my god, that, that would be crazy. Suck. Word up. We want to thank you for your uh, submissions. Already thanked you, but I'll thank you again. And now it is time for us to open the doors to the Insane Asylum. That means y'all in the live chat, if you got a comment, question, shout out, suggestion, let us be heard. Welcome to the <laughs> Insane Asylum. Let's do this. We got M. Kush G up in here saying, okay, Karen already token. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. And we got Mata up in here saying, what? I'm half Jamaican. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's in the blood, it's man. It's in the blood. It's in the blood, man. Yeah. We got Mata up in here saying, what? Karen Bryant up in the studio. Hell yeah. Karen Bryant is a legend. If you know, oh. you know. That's oh, right. Ma, thank you. That's sweet. I appreciate that. Thank you. And we got Todd Carnifax up in here saying, I can see Ron- Ronda Rousey coming back to MMA or UFC at some point. What are your thoughts, Karen? Um, I could see that potentially, but I think she's having such a good time doing WWE yeah. and she's killing it over there Yeah, they that love her I don't know that. that she has to, or like has a reason to come back yeah. really. And the girls are so much better now. Um, if you've not been practicing that skill set that you really need for a yeah. real MMA fight, you're going to get smoked. Yeah. She would have to have Once been again. like still training. Like this whole time, exactly. Oh, well, wow. while doing while that. doing wrestling, yeah. she would she would have to really be training MMA, yeah. which I don't think she's doing. Yeah, because fighters are way more advanced, especially in way her more. um weight class. Amanda Nunez is phenomenal. She is yeah. a beast. Yep. Woo! And there are some other beasts. For <laughs> she's sure. Weight. She's still holding the belt, right? Like, yep. Yeah, she just got it back. Yep. She got it back from Juliana. And Juliana yeah. wants a rematch, yeah. but yeah. I don't know. If she's you think she'll get it? I don't know. The win was so decisive. This last time right. that I don't know if it really demands a third one. I understand why Juliana wants the tri- uh, trilogy and trilogies make sense. Yeah. And I'm not someti- against and it. And sometimes they make money. And they do. And I'm not against it. I, I think, you know, she makes a good argument for it and I'd watch for sure. I just don't. I just feel like we would see the same thing. Yeah. yeah. She would have to be a different kind of ready. Like the ready she was when she won the first fight. And can she be that ready again? And at that time, too, you know, not to make excuses, but Amanda was physically compromised for that one. It was, right. She wasn't at full health. She you wasn't know what full, I mean? yeah. Right, so that's, that's what, why the second one, you know, you got the real... You got the, you real, got the full You health, got the yeah. real Amanda, yeah. You got the real Amanda, yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. You got to be a different level of ready for if sure. you're going for that trilogy. For sure. Although, so Juliana is highly motivated. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. So she is training her ass off. Oh, yeah. So she could be that good when she comes back. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I mean? I get it. I get the, I get the argument for the trilogy for sure. Yeah, we'll see if it happens. Wow. All right. And we one. got White Rhino up in here asking the table, Ghostface or Raekwon? Ooh. That's tough. Ooh. That's tough, man. Come on. Why you got to ask a oh, question? Oh, man. Like that? God damn it. I can't see. There's oh, no clear. Oh, to me, there's those, no clear one those, there. Those guys are attached. Bye. Yeah. Right. You can't yeah. Like, pick one. No they, they attached. You already asked me about They won. Like, <laughs> I, I, I'm stuck on that one, honestly. I, yeah. I, can't, I can't really put my finger on, on that one. And I usually yeah. don't I'll, do that. I'll drink. I'll drink. I love them both. Me too. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Let's tip see. it. Fifty-one, forty-nine. Ghostface. Yeah, Ghostface. I was about to say. Because why? Because uh, I was really listening to a lot of his albums over the last couple of weeks, and 
he's just got like classic album after classic album after classic album. And Raekwon, there was a bit of a lull between okay. the, uh, his uh, his solo album output, but together as Wu Tang, they right. always continue right. to smash. Right. So, but Ghostface is uh, like just a little step. Woo! Yeah, you know they're like the one-two punch when they're together. Like yep. they're like right. one of the perfect combos, like a red and meth and all that, right? Like but PMD. when you separate them, they're both dope as fuck. But mm -hmm. he, he, to me, like Ghost just stands out slightly in terms of like you sort of want to rewind his shit and hear what he said. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, it's just that little bit of difference. But to me, I mean, it's yeah, it's. That's an unfair question, yeah, you really bastard. Good. I kind of, I kind of <laughs> like Raekwon's style too. The the yeah. braggadocious. He yes, always, like, yeah. he's you the know, best like, at it. Yeah, this and that yacht in the yacht, mm, whatever mm, you know, yeah. like. <laughs> and and that sub, you know, that opinion is subject to change tomorrow, next True week, that. or whatever, because it's subjectable. Yeah, you might, you know, listen to a Raekwon and be like, right. you know what, I was tripping when I Ra thought this right Ra now. Ra right Raekwon here. be torching verse man right. he's the best so that's why i mean it's hard like yeah. but you never hear neither of them on some weak verses <laughs> right. like they're like it's true always consistent in that level i it's, mean it's crazy level. how they just all that group has everybody has their own style it's yeah. just like their own style like ghosts don't sound like raekwon nope. yeah o odb don't sound like math yeah. it's it's completely you, you got an array of just vicious MCs, bro. That's real MC shit. And you know what's crazy is they all got sub styles from their original one, like that they flex on different songs, and it's all still different. None of them sound alike mm. at all. They're all they're all dope. Yeah, man. it's nuts. Salute to them. And we got a little Snoop up in here saying shout out to Karen Bryant. Been a big fan. And he's, saying, he's been a big fan since MMA Heat. He's saying mm -hmm. good to see you here. I got Thanks. a question. Mm -hmm. Do you think John will defend the belt more than two times, or will he retire? Oh, I don't know that he'll retire it within three fights. He just got it. Yeah, I think he. I don't think he and, retires. And he took no damage. And he's young still. And like I was saying before, heavyweights um, are the oldest, you know, group anyway, uh, oldest weight class anyway. So he could still have a great, con you know, a career like fighting twice a year at heavyweight. Or something that, that was like gonna that. be my question. I was gonna ask you how 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 much do they fight? You per, know, per year, <clears throat> anywhere from like. Some guys fight three times, you know what I mean? Uh, they can't, if they can, like, that's a lot. Um, yeah, if you don't if, sustain it. Right, right, right. How long is preparation for that, like, to do Like, most fight? camps are, like, eight weeks to ten weeks, or, oh, you know, okay. if you're really intense, you're 12 weeks or something like that. Wow. Um, most people, on average, it's, like, three times a year that they fight, and they'd like that. Mm. But it doesn't always mean that you're going to be healthy enough to do that, so... Right depending on how your fights you're go. You're lucky if you can fight the three fights. Exactly. Wow. That's a good amount, and that's, you know, that's that means that you're, you know, you got to also show out and stuff and, like, give them a reason to keep booking you and stuff like that. I mean, you yeah. got to, you know, winning definitely helps. Yeah. You don't always have to win, obviously, but if you got to put on a good performance. Right. Then, yeah. All right. And we got George up in here asking, who wins in April, Ryan Garcia or Tank Davis? That's a good question. Um, because Ryan's got some speed and he could hit pretty mm -hmm. hard, but like Javante got a, got a punch too. He does, bro. Yeah, but it's, that's a tough one. That kid is off the hook. I'm pulling for Ryan. I think I think he's got the speed, but we'll see. Yeah. Does he got the chin for it? I'm, I, what do you guys think? I'm not, I'm not going for anybody. I'm yeah. right in the middle. Chitty but chin, chin. But <laughs> but homeboys, he's hard. Yeah. They're both hard. Yeah. yeah. They're both Vontae. though. Yeah, he's yeah. hard. He's yeah. hard. He is. That uppercut he got I know, is right? crazy. He is powerful, man. Yeah, yeah. He, is. he yeah. lands one on you and like, pff, boom. he could put you right. out. Yeah. Right. That's like Ryan's got to be super fast this day mm. when he fights that dude. Accurate. Like and, when, and, when is that fight? Uh, he, when is that he fight? He said April. Uh, he says in April. April. Yeah. Okay, cool. He's got to be mm -hmm. in and out. Right. You know, like the way Floyd Mayweather fights guys, like da 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 out yeah you know because like if he tries to sit there and punch with with mm. with you dude, don't take that you don't want to take that mm -mm. april 22nd mm. okay you don't want to take oh, that yeah. <laughs> Damn, i can't wait to see that i don't want to see you take that <laughs> <laughs> damn Next. and we got a uh, caesar up in here asking wonder what karen thinks about jake paul's boxing <laughs> uh, hey 
Uh, I give him credit. He's improving. I think he is an athlete. I yeah. think he um, has shown a decent amount of dedication to what he's doing. Yeah. I think he could get really good if he really <laughs> wanted to. Yeah. Um, I think he could. Yeah. yeah he's putting in the work. I yeah. mean, he clearly yeah. loves to do it. Yeah. Um, I'm not mad at him. Yeah. Hey, he's he's created a lane for, for guys for sure. himself to get paid for sure for jumping in the ring <laughs> for That's sure salute to that hey yeah, look sure. at if we're gonna do hood ufc hood hood ufc we UFC call jake hey, hey yo jake <laughs> <laughs> give us a blueprint jake. we need a blueprint <laughs> we gotta do this real quick you could be our visionary <laughs> yeah come on man. <laughs> hood fc hood teamwork FC. Hood FC. <laughs> that's right our real. financial backup <laughs> that's right <laughs> That's right, our fight. Drop the no guns. Way. Come get your money. Come go on, let's go. <laughs> get the, your last money. Fight, the last fight he had oh, was um. Get your money. I forgot. I forgot who the the dude he, he, he fought. Was. Tommy he Fury. Fought, yeah, 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 yeah. That that was a good one. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. a bad fight. Right. Well, real fight there. He, lo like, he lost, but that's a grove. Win or mm -hmm. win or learn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he didn't do bad. Right. In the loss. Right. I mean, it wasn't like dude. Not the end of the world. Yeah. It it could have went either way. Mm -hmm. All right, next one. We got Jesus22 up in here saying shout out to the West Coast legend, Julio G. Oh, What's man. up? Much love, man. Thank you. And we got Pro Tool up in here asking, has Karen ever lit it up with the Diaz brothers? Yes, Nate. Uh, I, uh, yeah, so I don't know if I have with Nick because I've known them a really long time. So the guys from, uh, you know, the, two, the 209, um, the Scrap Pack, those are like some of my really dear friends like i love gilbert melendez you know yeah. what i mean i love nick and nate um i've known them a really long time jake shields um and so um you know uh uh i i don't remember back then if i ever did with nick because i think it was more actively fighting and like you really were back then getting in trouble if you got caught for weed and i think he even did get caught for weed and you know suspended or whatever but with nate yes i have just hanging out uh you know outside of fights and stuff like that just hanging out in hollywood and stuff like that he's cool i love him like I'm a big, you know, I'm I'm a big Diaz brother. And yeah, we've man. been trying to get them down here for I love them. years. They're I love them. great yeah. dudes. Yeah, well, you know, homies. yeah, they they yeah. you know they can just they're not necessarily you know reliable. I say that with love in terms yeah. of like showing up and pl stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. You know, but uh, but no, I love those guys. And yeah, yeah mm -hmm. for sure. salute to them. Oh. Yeah. And we got Michelle up in here saying, be real, looking so fresh and so fly, fly. Well, thank in you. In his Sergio Tacchini jacket. <laughs> I was jacket. about to say, man, you oh, taking us back to the old school, brother. Brother's back in the 80s right now. Like <laughs> the, you, you know, know I'm getting ready to watch Snowfall, son. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> when I walked in, I said, oh, shit, okay. <laughs> Back in them baller hey, days, hey, they we used, had hey, ballers. Those ballers. used to be the pimp. Oh, you were oh a man. Oh my god, to, look yeah. at you. The Fila suit or the, the it Sergio is pretty Tikini. sweet. You brought that Sergio Tikini. I use a so real So here's player. the question: Is it? Is it? Did you always? Play is it something you kept, or is it something that you recently got? Like I found it a vintage type thing? No, I don't remember when I got this. Um, but I've had it for a long time. <laughs> that shit is hard, bro. That's yeah, it's cool. good. I don't remember where, is when. There, is there pants with it? No, there's not pants. There's uh, just the top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that's that like, that's like a tennis. That's right? the real. That's the real baller shit. When you that's, got like the when you got the top and the bottom. The, yes, top to bottom. Yep. Love it. That was the '80s. Like drug dealer wear. That's right. Right. what it was at right. that time. In like the, velour. With the, with the, what you call it? The velour. The, the, with the oh, velour, yeah. I love it. Throw the gold the, chain. Um, they, even had, yep. they even had like the, the windbreaker type material. Yeah. Too, yeah, yeah, inside yeah, bro. insulation. It was. Yes. Hell yeah. That's why Snowfall is so dope. That's why I dig that show because yeah. they really capture that era and time in, a, in everything that they do about it. You know what I mean? For it, sure. it gives you just like, that's what was going on at that time, you know, yeah. in the streets. So shout out to Dub C, man. They're doing good with that. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Dubby. And we got M. Kush G up in here saying shout out to the homie Days Daya. It's her born day. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Celebrate yourself. Happy birthday. Good vibes to you. And we got Megan up in here. Thank you so much for the super sticker of the love. Thank you for the love. I much love to you, Megan. Nice. Awesome. And we got White Rhino back up in here again. I don't think you guys will like this question. Oh, boy. Red Man or Method Man? Whoa. What the fuck? Uh, I, I'm going to go, uh, look, again, it's the same damn thing. I can't, bro. Same damn thing. You, you're over here testing me right here. 
God damn it! Yeah. But if if I'm gonna if I'm gonna choose one, it's um again fifty one forty nine red man. His 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 uh, lyrical flexes um on any record are like no other. <laughs> I mean, he's like really the first shock value rapper before Eminem. Mm-hmm. And, you, you know, he Im- and he influenced guys like Eminem. So when but you think Meth, about Meth's that, Meth's the actor too, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Meth M- is dope. Meth is dope. Yeah. Meth is dope. They're both dope. Yeah. Like Meth's yeah. voice, like you. <sighs> hey, you, yeah. get off my cloud. Mm-hmm. You, don't you don't know me and you don't know my style. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, his... Now, Red Man all day. <laughs> yeah, but, but I got to give it to Red. Don't be asking us these yeah, questions man. anymore. This is not here? right. Everybody. <laughs> and we got Ozzy Rob up in here saying, yo, B. Nah. Are you bringing any insane merch to Australia? Mm, no. You can't. Sorry. It'll be probably Cypress merch. But insane, I can't do it. Only women tops. <laughs> only, only two <laughs> tops. Yeah, wow. two tops. <laughs> they be charging too much. I'll be real. It's a two tops. They charge too much, man. Nah, it's a Cypress Hill thing. I can't bring insane to that. To that point, got to bring all Cypress. <laughs> there it is. Um, Steez. When I go up there solo, I will bring some insane awesome. gear. Gear, not cannabis, none of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you don't have to put five dogs on my back when I get there. Swimsuits. <laughs> yeah. All right. And we got Cyber Hangman up in here. Are you saying if you skip all of the opening acts, whether it's UFC or music, that's like throwing away 50% of your ticket? Yeah, that's for true. true. For sure. Uh, yeah, that's very true. Mm-hmm. Something to be said about the folks that that get there early, man. They want their do- They want every dollar's yeah, worth. Man. I'm gonna enjoy every goddamn. <laughs> I mean, part me, of this. I yeah. mean, me personally, you got to get there early. You want to hit the bar. You want to get your drinks yep. and and take care of all that, you know, and start uh, drinking too for sure. before the <laughs> fortify your position. A few of them right. before the heat even starts. And, yeah. and the pre games. That's what we. And you know what's crazy? You you sometimes will catch somebody that rocks it. So then you're like, damn, for I just sure. got hip to this person. Like, damn, they got busy. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because yeah. we've had a few of those. When we, we when we went on tour, yeah. they would open up and be like, oh, damn, they got some people rocking out here. Right. Okay, so. You know, you're opening you up, you know, uh, to other fans. You know what I mean? So, yeah. so sometimes the opening thing is good. So, yes, yeah. like the reason a band takes the opening band is because they want to shed light on that band because they like it. It's yep. not just a filler spot. Yeah. You know, and if their fans knew that, maybe they would show up earlier. Man, who was that right. kid that was out with us, man? That, um, that white kid, man, the heavy set dude. Um, Action Bronson. Not Action Bronson. The other dude. He was kind of like. Uh, remember, he came on the bus with us. Ah, oh, what's his name, man? Real nice dude, man. He was very nice on tour, but he really was rocking every night. I would wa- go out and watch him, and I'm like, damn, man. Okay, you got a good show, bro. Like, I didn't expect that. You know what I mean? But, and and now I followed him because I followed him on Twitter. He's he's been blowing up. You know what I mean? Doing his thing. So. Um, I remember Who? his name. Jelly right Roll. Jo- Jelly, Jelly Roll. Jelly Roll. Thank That's you, right. Thanks. Jelly Roll. Jelly Roll. He is blowing up. Very. Yeah. Yeah. He's doing his thing. You know what I mean? So, uh, but watching him open for us, like, I was like, wow, this guy's really good. Man. He's very talented. Yeah, he is. You know what I'm he saying? got good songs too. Yeah, he got really good songs. Yeah. Salute to Jelly Roll. Yeah, shout out oh. Jelly Roll, man. That's a good guy. Real, real nice guy. Word up. Nice. And we got Randy up in here asking, "Be real. Where can I buy that hat like the one you are wearing?" Um, I believe uh, at soulassassins.com. DJ Mug special right here. Yeah. And we got GLA Rain saying happy Taco Tuesday, y'all. Happy Taco yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Shout out to Dustin for bringing us tacos. Mm. What? On a Taco Tuesday, should it be mandate that you have tacos? Agreed. Hey, Dustin, thank you for last week, too, man. I was glad I said Oh, yeah, it blew your mind, oh, huh? No, then he made me a plate to go home. Uh-huh. And when I was at home, I'm like, oh, bro. <laughs> I'm like, oh, like, bro. Yo, KB, you said yeah. you you like you don't eat mess with the beef, right? No, no, but a fish taco, I will, oh. I will murder a fish <laughs> oh, taco. Yeah, so I'll bring it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fish tacos yeah. are not bad. Yeah, not bad. yeah, 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 for sure. For sure. It's just because, like, I felt, uh, you know, when we started to travel a lot, um, it's just kind of easier to eat a little cleaner. Yeah. You know what I mean? And just not deal with a lot of other random food. Like, I love food of all kinds, but uh, it just, taking out meat just kind of made it a little easier on the road. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. it, it is a gamble depending sure. on how they make yeah. it. It in can certain definitely places. be. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is the truth. <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. So, yes. Yeah. 
keep it easy. Keep it clean. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. But and we got <laughs> Jen Heifer up in here saying, "Be real needs to write a book about working with all of the legends." Mm-hmm. Bring it. You know, it's crazy because like when we were when we started doing this, Julio. I never expected, like, not one day that we'd ever get to, like, do any collaborations or or any of that sort of thing or work with any of the people that we looked up to that that we idolized. And it's crazy, the list, when I thought about it a few months back, like, all the people that, that we were listening to and looked up to that I got a chance to work with. It's crazy. The list is nuts. You know, it's crazy because oh. you, you, you got to work with Dela, and that's such mm. a dope record that you did with yeah. them. And, and just this whole thing that the whole bringing their album back out again, and which was great because I had yep. to go download them all. And just like I was so gl- glad for Dela to be able to release yeah. their music again. Um, but I thought about that because I was, like, cause I was uh, downloading that album. I'm like, damn, B-Roll got a dope ass song with Dela So, man, that's like yeah. really cool. Yeah. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. Well, Produced by Dilla. Yeah. Yep. Wow. And do you that's remember good. when we were in. Um, Daytona for spring break. That's right. They were there too. Yeah. Because I remember being in the airport with them. I just have a distinct memory of being like at the luggage retrieval thing with Prince Paul and stuff yeah. and, you know, waiting, you know, and it was like, oh, and their record would was had really been blowing up. And, um, and yeah, I know they were there performing. Yeah. And, um, uh, like Mark was there and uh, Leaders of the New School Leaders were there. Leaders of the New School. And Black Sheep, I think, Black too, Sheep, right? Black Sheep, Salt and Pepper were there. Naughty, right. Naughty by Nature. Right. Um, and someone else. I Because I remember hanging out and, yeah. and, and I remember, like, if it had happened now, it would have been just insane because I would have, you know, everybody would have been filming it and it would have been nuts. But do you, I don't know if you remember like hanging out in the hotel room and everybody just started freestyling. Oh, I remember yeah. just my mind was blown because it was like you, it was Busta, it was, you know, Mark, it was everybody at the time who was killing it. And she's talking and about just, Mark Wahlberg yeah. for anybody asking <laughs> yeah. who's Mark. Yeah. Uh, wow. Yes. Wow. Um, but my mind was just blown because I was like, it was just the best of the best. Like the, everybody at the time has had been crushing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it was so fun to just sit there and be like, wow, like just geeking out on, on watching you guys. You know, on that trip, right? Um, <laughs> this is this is a story I tell people because this, this happened and. It, the comedian, uh, what's his name? Uh, was it Polly? Uh, no, no, no. Um, something Hall. Is it Mark Hall? Anthony or? Michael Hall? Arsenio? No, Arsenio Hall. No, no, not Arsenio. Not uh, not uh, Anthony <laughs> Michael. Um, he's uh, an older comedian. Um, oh, comedian. I don't know. Uh, something, uh, something. Anthony Michael? Rich no, Hall? A, Rich, yeah. Yes. Uh, Rich Hall. Something that like right? that. No. You have to show me his picture, and I'll tell you. I'll tell you. <laughs> I don't think it's Rich Hall. Yes, it's this guy. This guy. Yes, Rich Hall, oh, right oh, here. Oh, so oh, we get in an oh. elevator with Rich Hall here, and there was some other girls that had come in because I mean it's Daytona. People right. are Everybody's coming in. into the hotel from different parties and stuff. Right. So we all get in. <laughs> it's me, Muggs, and Send Dog, and Ivan, um, Send and Mello's mm-hmm. cousin, right? Mm-hmm. And we're we're all bunched up there. The girls come in. Richard Hall is standing next to the buttons, and one of the chicks goes. Hey, can you press floor nine, please? And he <laughs> he looks dead, dead at her with the stray face. Who do I look like a fucking bellboy? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> wow. oh man. Oh, it was the most awkward moment <laughs> ever. We got oh, well, to wow. see, we got to see that. Oh, I love That's it. brutal. I couldn't oh, unsee so it or unhear it. We're like, God damn, Richard Hall, you're a dick. Damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. Ramp up, bro. Ramp up. <laughs> Reveal. He, he didn't Jeez. press. He didn't press number nine. That's cool. Yeah, to reach over. Yeah, you got that gentleman in by. No, he was not gentleman like. <laughs> there was not too many gentlemen in Daytona. Well, they do say though, like comedians are some of the sort of like saddest and angriest people on the planet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and it, you know, ironically, they're out there telling jokes, and everybody, you know, might assume. That they're happy go lucky, but a lot of the time they're like not at all. If you catch them at the wrong time, yeah, yeah they ain't trying to be talking to no, <laughs> no, 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 no. No, it's crazy. Hell no. We want to thank everybody for getting down with us today on this episode of the Dr. Green Thumb Show on the push to 700. We're almost right there. I think this is nice. what uh, 697 or something awesome. like that. Uh oh. 
Six ninety seven. Yeah, see, I guessed right. Hello. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we want to thank all y'all for being here with us. We want to thank Karen Bryan for sitting hey. at the table with hey. us. Thank you for yes. having me. I was I was so excited when you asked. Right on. Whenever you want to come snap in with us. Yeah. Would be awesome. <gasps> I would love to come back. To have you at the table with I would us. I love that. Oh, uh, you got any shout outs before uh, we go? Um shout outs. I don't know. Just um I'm I'm working on the San Antonio show when Cheeto Vera is fighting Corey Sandhagen, which is going to be ridiculous. Right on. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. So I'll be down in San Antonio. And then other than that, on Tuesdays, which means later tonight, uh, over on my YouTube, which is just YouTube forward slash Karen Bryant, K-A-R-Y-N, Brian, Tess, and Kobe, no relation, but may he rest in peace. That's right. Rest um, and uh, so I do uh, a show called Festivities, and um, we just kind of have fighters on. And we have Jeff Neal tonight, who had Fight of the yeah. Night on Saturday night. Yeah, he had a great fight. Ooh, with Shavkat Rachmanov. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Uh, yeah. So he's coming on our show later on tonight to talk about uh, that fight and everything like that. That was a so, tough fight. I know, right? So if you know if you're on YouTube right now, just you know you can go to my channel and hit subscribe there and uh, and see us with Jeff. So I do that every Tuesday night and uh, and it's fun. Right on. Yeah. Julio, you got any shout outs? Shout out to everybody tuned in and all my family over at LA Kush and uh, y'all yeah, be back next week. Psycho less. Yo, shout out everybody on the chat. Shout out to KB in the house. You know, the whole squad over here. Um, it's Tuesday. Bart's Barbecue is here. We about to set it off with the music. Nice. Yeah, yeah. We're taking you back. Let's go. Nice. Let's go. Bolton. Shout the Insane Asylum. Thank you guys so <laughs> much. Shout to Ray Morning Shot Films. Shout to The Dominator. And don't forget, tomorrow's Wednesday, so we got a new funky field tip drop for y'all. Yeah. So tune in tomorrow. Mm. What's going on, C-minus? Uh, thanks to everyone that watches here at the show. Uh, everyone here at the table. Pleasure doing the show with you guys yeah. and gal. Uh, <laughs> at, follow me, C-minus fan four, on all social media. And uh, see you tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. for uh, uh, hit All Hip Hop on a Wednesday morning uh, on Twitch. So thank you. Love you, Mom. Cheers. I emphasize on love. Keep it close. Right at your heart. Pass it around. Spill it if you have to. Um, remove the hate. Remove the negativity. All that energy is boof. You know it. The people that bring that energy, remove yourself from them because it's infectious when people have a bad attitude or bad energy. They want to sort of give it to you to make themselves feel better, and that's not good for your um, emotional, spiritual, physical diet. Those are words for the doctor. Swallow that.